The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. We here. You got something what playing. Something. Yeah. Yo, turn this mic on. Melissa Ford just leaned over to me, uh -huh. showed me a whisper song in her phone as the beat goes on, and said, huh, starter? Start <laughs> no, intro music. Huh, intro music? <laughs> the whisper song? Huh, watch. And watch. the beat goes on. It's the weekend. Why don't you start it with that motherfucker? No, not that And the beat goes on. Oh, that one? Talk about Cher? I was singing the white one. You were singing, you were singing the white one. No way, what And it becomes a hard thing. Hey, not ever classic. Don't do that. No, but when you said whisper Nobody song, I thought you made Union. But twice. that's not. That's what I thought you said. Melissa Ford, that ain't, doing that. that ain't my vibe going into the weekend. Oh, okay. Like, you clean the house to that. Not only does yeah. this DJ not take requests, <laughs> but don't stand too close to the table and the equipment because you might bump shit. You up, might yeah. bump shit. Like Make the like, record skip. You fine and all, little Miss Mama, but <laughs> that everyone's still you watch. have to wait over there. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, okay, get away from the equipment. Girl. And the beat goes on. Hey, huh? I can't wait to hear what the intro music's going to be, then. Dog. Why y'all every week now, why every week now y'all put pressure on my intro? Because we want a lit intro. That sets the tone for the whole pop. But when did that start? Let's talk about that. It's just not here, so we come on. We got time to talk. <laughs> when did that start? Y'all used to y'all used to didn't care too much about the intro music. Then you started getting good at the intros, and then we was like, "All right." He said you was trash before. Look, look, look how you speak to number no, I'm one. I'm supporting you though. Look how you speak to number oh. one. But nah, the, the intro started getting a little lit for a minute. Mm. It's pretty good. Oh, mm -hmm. thanks, then. <laughs> so I, you, I thought they was always lit, but all right. they, always. they wasn't always lit. Not always. They was all right. Super. Because you had the ability to tell. <laughs> always. Always. <laughs> <laughs> I love my, uh, my crew. My dogs. <laughs> said rules. No, 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 Break no, no, laws. Stop, stop, do it. stop, stop. Omaha. That's the end. Yeah. You know, you know I keep going. No, you don't keep no, going. No, 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 no. You please don't. Please don't. Come on, playing some inspiration. This is, this is, this you is not Wednesday. You take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two-foot pot. That seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's going to get stifled by the two-foot pot. Ain't nothing wrong with the seed. The seed just fell prey to the environment. Mm. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. Take your seed. Take your gift. Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from your family members that ain't ever opened a business. Get away from your family members that ain't ever followed their dream. Get away from your family members that ain't never been nowhere but to the family reunion. Ain't never been to a beach. Get away from them. I had to do it. When I told everybody I was getting into comedy, man, oh, Lord have mercy. You can't get into comedy. You ain't even funny. How you gonna make money telling jokes? Now, in the beginning, it looked like they was right, but I never gave up. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Now. Mm. Woo. Hey, Mel. Microphone check. One, two, what is this? What episode is this? 616. If you could be, do, 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 do. holla at me. <laughs> y'all what? Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all don't, don't know nothing about that. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't. Stop playing. You don't know about that. I bought that album, nigga. I got that album. I was outside to that album. Oh. Hey. Nah, hold on. Don't nah. play. Don't stop, play. yo. Stop. Play, play, we got to play. Stop. Play, play, no, no. play it, nigga. He, he ain't got it, Flip. Mm. Now, you now, now talk. <laughs> you you got now it. you intro the part. He got the correct you don't have it. it. The way that shit come he on. He don't do, have do, it. He don't do, have do, it. Do, do, do. CP, what up, baby? I'm chilling, man. How you feeling, man? I feel good, man. The weekend is here. The weekend is here. I got you a bone to pick good with you. Today. You heard me? Huh? I got a bone to pick with you. Sure. What, 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 what bone with me? Because um, you got here a little late today. That is not that, it. That, that ain't it. That is not let me, it. Hold on, let me, let me, let me. Oh, what are you doing? I got, I got, I got <laughs> it. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. What are you I doing? Got, hey, I got, I got, you let this nigga outdo you? Hey, that's the, what you doing? That 
it either. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Yo, stop! Ice, you put all this stupid no, shit no, no, in here. It's Ice's fault. See? See what happens? Anyway, I didn't have a laptop when I... Hey, there we go. There hey. we go. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, Melissa Ford, you and the whispers fall back for a yeah, minute. Yeah. Let us enter the pod the way we do this. Okay? <laughs> Got we just gotta get the hook off. We gotta nah, get the hook off. Yeah, J-O-E. This, this, this was a off. vibe. Got with J-O-E. Holla the West Coast got the best springtime songs. Facts. Got B with DPG. The holla at me. The DOJ. This shit was got B. Hey. You don't remember this, man. You don't remember this, man. He was outside of this. I, I remember. He was. He was on a great hand. All right. Chill, chill. That was a nice. That was a nice little. That was it right there. That was a nice little. What's your beef with me, Ish? I mean, can I, can I intro the pod? Well, we that too, wow, wow. Can I intro the pod first? Oh, yeah, intro Welcome the pod. to episode 616 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, also known as number one, numero en uno, podfather, head honcho. And I'm here with a few really, really, really great people and amazing fucking, the best fucking cats out there, huh? The beautiful Melissa Ford is here. Flip is here. Ish is not here, but he's with us in spirit. Big PTO, Freeze PTO. is here. Parks is here. Poe is here. JR is here. And Erickson, Erickson is, is here. Yes. Now, beef. Let's start. Let's get right to the beef. Get right to the beef. So, so This got- is our immature podcast. I'm going to be <laughs> yeah, as immature yeah. as possible <laughs> now. Already told now that Ish ain't here on. to pontificate... <laughs> I'm being immature, and there's nothing. There's nothing nobody can do, do about, about it. it. We already had to talk. Can't but do beef. About let's it. get right to beef. So, so you got in a little later today, which I don't care. Uh, whatever. Oh, but, I got to beef with you too. Now that you think about it, yeah. Go ahead. Hold on. So then, Joe Joe made mention of that, and you said, "Well, I was on time Wednesday." <sighs> That's where my beef kicked in. Oh, okay. I was here on time, but this ain't Wednesday. True. This don't have nothing to do True. with Wednesday. I, I, I'm gonna keep it right. So, well, hold on, hold on. Wednesday, he don't do nothing but promote all his network shit, his, his own flip the network shit, and bring it over here, trying to do some merge type of thing. But I'll take it. So it sounds like shit is fun. Yeah. Wednesday <laughs> is like where you, 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 you kind of put a little bit more priority um, yeah. to all of a sudden. Like, you know yo, I'm What's up, yo? Mm. I, I was downstairs. We got him. I was downstairs at, at the right we time. Fucking no, no, you wasn't in here at the right time. Uh, he was downstairs. Yeah, was He's using that excuse. I was here, I was just in the parking lot. Yeah. I mean, I mean you know, the, the document, I signed in at 11. A sign in, yeah. <laughs> so I'm good, you know what I'm talking about. But at the same time, I'm here to to bring my fusion, my flip the network shit here. Oh, uh, please, please. <laughs> it feels good. Yeah, please, please, buddy, please. And I'm here also. We'll, I'm we'll a part take, of this. We'll take you. And take me. We'll right. take. We'll All take right. you. I have a beef with you too, though. Me. Yeah. And if you're watching out there, first of all, shout out to the Patronis. Salute. If you're not a member, please sign up to Joe Button Patreon for exclusive. And never before seen. There's multiple tiers broadcasts. there for which, you know, we, we accommodate for anybody. Yeah, yeah. One day I'm gonna start a tier on there and get in all these niggas' asses pause. I'm gonna start a tier <laughs> and just talk shit. I'm gonna tell the truth about you niggas. I might do that for free right now. For free. Sample. Sample this pod. You know how they do in front of uh, in the food court? Yeah. Mm. They give you a little Now you sense. Yeah they give you a little bit With a yeah. little stick in the middle just of the enough, meat. Just Pause, enough to make yeah. you Want a little bit more Get online Get some of that teriyaki Turn, turn on me just now. Yo you called me last night I was in the house starving You called me You say you was at The chef's restaurant In it's Brooklyn And you fact. said it was beautiful Facts I saw some little clips That shit does look beautiful Yes You said he set you up Nice and proper like Gave you celebrity status. You ain't Facts. really want to be bothered with the pics and all of that. I, yeah, I mean, you wanted that. to keep it low. You got big celebrity on me on that phone, but you my man, so I let it ride. I ain't no beef. Like, good, live, live life. This morning, I'm on the phone with Ian. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ian say Flip was at the restaurant last night. I said, yeah, he told me. But then that's all I said to get the other person to divulge more. Mm. <laughs> and then he said, yeah, man, I was in the house. Flip flips came by, stopped by with some oxtail. Oh, shit. He did the drop he, off? He said, I ate some oxtail last night. It was so late. <laughs> I feel horrible. I have to get to running and exercising. I shouldn't have ate, but boy, was it delicious. And I said, oh, man, that's dope. That's dope. Hold on, hold on. I fuck with that hold shit. On. I fuck with that Can shit. Can I ask a question real quick? What? Did you get any oxtail? No. Okay. I said, I fuck with that shit, but guess what? Want to know the truth? I was hating. <laughs> I presented it like support. Mm, I see what you I did see, there. I presented it like support. Mm, I see what mm. you did there. But it was, it was really, well, really mm. what it was. You good. Was hate. Hey. Mm. The boy good. And we're going to talk today 
about support hate. Support hate. <laughs> are we putting names on the bullet? Or are we just leaving it out there? Well, there's the red pill or blue pill. <laughs> you can make the decision. I'm prepared to go either way. It's just not here. I was about to say. So I. Oh, wait, no, I'm not putting names on it. I'm not putting names on it. Oh, you're not going to put names on it? I can't put names on it. Why? I can check. Yeah, and for? I'm not putting names on it because home, I've been home all week, mm -hmm. and the firing squad has been lined up outside of my house just taking shot after shot after shot, shooting me with their best bullets and missiles. Mm -hmm. But they wasn't really shooting at me because they didn't say it was to me. Mm. They were able to disguise. They were subbing. They were subbing. And that's mm -hmm. when it hit me like a ton of bricks in the house. These niggas sub better than me. <laughs> that is a skill that they possess that, that I come in here, be direct, ruin relationships, burn bridges, <laughs> kill the sponsors and integrations, <laughs> offend people, make the blogs. Like, I do that well. But y'all that we not used to seeing hate, y'all hide it better. So today, I'm coming in with subs, or what I thought was subs, because I want to match their subs. I don't want them to be better with the subs than me. But the more I thought about the subs, it, was, it came more across as honest critique from number one to number the rest of you. <laughs> I need the... Once I'm giving the names, I'm going to say it. So please, just... <laughs> just don't tell you the names. Don't tell man. me anything, because I'm going to go... I'm going to send subs, and if you're able to match the sub with the name, then feel free. Let's go. Can you whisper to me, please? <laughs> but we don't have to start there. That's too, that sounds like too much fun to start. Why? I want to yeah, start there. That's too, there. Much, that's too much fun. We got music we, dropping. Yeah, the, we got a the, lot of music other shit. It's, it's, it's murders. the weekend. It's the way. All <laughs> you niggas going to get shot at. As soon as... Oh, I, my God. <laughs> <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Hello. Who, who did it? And they tell me in the street, why don't you take ads? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Because you Because then we can't say things like this. <laughs> we get a lot of support. Mm -hmm. The shows get support, retweeted, you know, I have different eyes in the media that watches and support. And then now I'm hearing that these same people that support are spewing subliminal hate towards the company. I don't stand with that. It ain't the company, it's me. No, no, yeah. It's just me they fire. You are the now. company. They might fuck with the rest of us a little bit. No, they, yeah, they, they, <laughs> they think y'all kind of cool, actually. <laughs> They all think y'all fly. Like, you cool, bitch, you mean? It's we, me. We from yeah. the old school. <laughs> I, listen, I got subs for y'all coming in about, we'll see, maybe 20 minutes from now. Okay, cool. I got a lot of, uh, my entire docket is law and order. Mm -hmm. All of it is us finding out the cause of death for certain people. Mm -hmm. Other people got sentenced. Other people have been murdered. And mm -hmm. that's where I would like to start. Okay. With I would like to start with rest in peace to Bob Lee, the uh, Cash App co-founder that was murdered in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Under mysterious circumstances thus mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. We don't know what happened. The circumstances that have been presented are that it was a random mugging attempt. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was it. And... I don't know about you all, but I call super duper bullshit on that. In a, in a nice, it was a tech district yeah. or something like mm -hmm. that. Like yeah. Somewhere where there probably isn't a lot of muggings typically. Right. Yeah. All right. Walk us through why you're calling Cap. And you're not the only one to call Cap on this. All of the conspiracy theorists uh, alarm went off at the same time uh, because of the Fed now announcement two days later, a day later. Uh, that's uh -huh. literally the main reason why this smells of conspiracy. You know, there's been there's been a couple of deaths that have happened with, like, tech founders. Yeah, um, tech founders, crypto guys. Crypto, crypto, crypto guys, guys crypto. exactly. And, crypto not, guys. and um, Bob, Bob Lee. Yeah. Bob Lee. Was the head of a, a, a crypto coin. Yeah. Mm. At the time of his death. Yeah. So this falls in line with that as well. Exactly. Well, I'm pr if I probably have more focus there because Bob Lee sold this company. We should, can we fact check that? We don't know yeah, his no. involvement in the day to day with Cash App. Also, Cash App is not the only uh, digital finance app. Correct. There is. So it would be like, why would we kill him in relation to Cash App and to in the Fed now? A lot of people died. Yeah, he was he he wow. was um, chief technology officer of Square. And that's when he created Cash App. But it doesn't, that was years ago. It doesn't say that he had any involvement today. 
he was the chief product officer for the cryptocurrency firm mobile coin at the time of his death mm. and he was back in san francisco for a visit oh this no yeah i'm starting to rob him comp- conspiracy theorists he, he hold on he he moved to miami in october and mm. was just back here for a visit according mm. to his father mm. and then that's happens. the thing that really pains me about like this uh about pnb being murdered like only being out there to attend yeah. the wedding yeah like when you get on a plane and can't go back home or or are not fortunate enough to get back home, boy, mm. does, boy, does it hit different. Yeah. Flip, you were saying a lot of people died. That's related to cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. um, did you pull up a list? I did. Um, one of them, uh, the co-founder of Maker Dow. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Nikolai found dead in Puerto Rico in October. Then November, somebody was found dead in Spain, which was Javi Javier. Then November 23rd, another was found dead in his sleep. A a Russian crypto billionaire died in a helicopter crash. (laughs) Oh, shit. What the hell? Yeah. I can see why conspiracy theorists. This is sounding very House of Cards like, you know what I mean? But why are they killing all of them for? Let's talk about it. Why are they knocking them niggas off, Parks? I don't know. Well, clearly, they all know something that. The rest of us don't. Right. What, what and the be? inevitable is that we will be in a paperless system mm-hmm. at some point. Yeah. I imagine there is a fight going on at the top of that brass. It's not my wheelhouse. Yeah, that us commenters don't yeah, know uh, shit okay. about. Yeah, we don't but know. But if you had to yeah. guess. But I, I, I'm going to guess that Bob Lee probably had information that none of us in this room had. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. And... <laughs> Once you I start won't working say with because them, they be filing lawsuits about when you say shit after that. Once you yeah. start working with them, them crypto coins and you start seeing how things are mined and moved and you just get access to a different level of information. And if they trying to get into that field. Mm-hmm. And they are. Clearly my, they are. But my, crypto now. basically like de- deregulates the banking system. That's basically what happened. So in that way. We can't let this succeed. Exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of people that would have beef with that with a lot of power and money. The so. banking system is how they controlled everything for ever. Yeah. So they they gonna just this kill. is a, this is a rabbit hole episode. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, they're gonna just kill everybody and it not really expect is. people to ask questions. I feel like questions. I feel like what's gonna happen after um, after Lee's death is. There's going to be some kind of expose that's going to come out on, you know, in one of the um, outlets like Vox or um, the or Atlantic. Co- or s- sources. No, no, I mean a reputable one. Oh. I mean a reputable one. Reputable it's, cock. <laughs> it's going to oh be God. an investigative piece that's going to tie all of it together. I have a feeling that that's what's going to come out eventually. Wow. My thing is this. Knowing absolutely nothing about the crypto world. This looks fishy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It It does. Like before we even get to a crypto conversation, the uh, the way that this was reported, Bob Lee, uh, co-founder of like this was what morning was this? Uh, Wednesday Wednesday? morning, I believe. I think it was Mm -hmm. Wednesday morning. Okay, this billionaire guy or very wealthy man is out at two thirty a.m. By himself. All right, cool. I'll, I'll buy it. It happens. Right. Okay. Yeah. It happens. It's not so far fetched right now. Not at all. San Francisco, which is ain't that like one of the tech capitals of the world? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Listen, if the ring cameras in New Jersey pick up all of this stuff, I imagine they're recording on every street in that particular area. So footage has just been um, kind of released that shows him in the moments after he was stabbed where he's kind of stumbling around and looking for help Um, but it doesn't seem to have captured the person that stabbed him. Well, then we get to that. Mm -hmm. Random mugger slash attacker. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of soon for y'all to even say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's funny. Yeah. Why would y'all why say would y'all that? Put that out why, already. Why would you say that an hour into this? Two hours, three hours, with no investigation, no nothing. Just this was random. How yeah. could you say it's random if this guy is who we say he is? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was odd. Okay, I just ahead I just, of it. I just know that we got the helicopters up in the street, and in a few more hours, we will hear more information on this. Mm-hmm. But not a peep. Nothing came after. Several days later, still. That That's where we're at now. Was weird. 
uh, because of the status of this man. Mm -hmm. And in recent cases, similar, uh, like when the Fashion Nova dude, something happened to him. Mm -hmm. They was on that ass. They got that guy, brought him to justice in a matter of hours. Mm -hmm. uh, Clarence Avon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Quick. Really, really, really fast when there's that type of status and money involved. Mm -hmm. This one, it was just too quiet. Mum's the word. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting home the whole time just saying, all right, who killed Bob Lee? Mm -hmm. I know by now y'all got posters, <laughs> signs up, uh, getting tips, phone lines. I know the reward is high. Somebody's got to say something. And still, to the time of this recording. Not a thing. Yeah. Not a thing. Peep. Not even a description. He was a, you know, a vagrant. You know, something. Nothing. That sounds funny. It's weird. Yeah. It sounds very That's weird. weird. It is. It's weird. Yeah. It's almost like a mandate kind of went out in order to just kind of put the kibosh on any kind of questions being asked. Mm. And I watch way too many TV shows that do this. Dog, mm -hmm. I watch way too much 24 yeah. for me to watch this and yeah. say everything's normal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to join the club of conspiracy theorists. But then my thing is this. Even if you're not in conspiracy theorist club, the next day I woke up saying, well, why the fuck would Fed now want, want to put this announcement out right now anyway? Yeah, you I agree with that. Push I that back that a couple days at least. Shit. That's odd. That's just yeah. odd timing. It I is. think that, I, all to the side, I think, you know, the move that, and this is going to, I'm jumping off the cliff here. Please allow me. The move that China is making um, is allowing the government to panic, and they're doing shit like this. They're forgetting that somebody got knocked off and they're just putting shit out. You know, China is replacing, you know, they got up with everybody to replace the U.S. currency, mm. US currency over there. It's crazy. I think we're in panic mode. If you ask that me. makes sense. If you asking me to just freestyle some shit with you, then I definitely thought of all of that brick Bricks, stuff and the right. pictures that they've been taking together, all of them standing in front of <laughs> yeah, all of these yeah, flags, yeah. right? And if I was America and I were trying to combat that, somebody I would call during that process is the cash app guy. Yeah, right. Bob Lee. Yeah. Yeah. And the crypto guys, not for nothing. I would call yeah. them. And depending on how that conversation goes... I might hang up angry. Or what? If, what, or, if they, what if they or, were SB or not? Okay. Yes. What, hold up. All of this is speculative, and this is an entertainment podcast. Hey, hey. Yeah. I have no facts. Please, <laughs> all I have is man's intuition. Hey, Joe. <laughs> what? Or all of them might know that's the person you're gonna call. Mm. Well, Bob Lee was fucking with that. Don't play with me. I started thinking that that's what the balloon in the air was for. Y'all was worried about some other shit. They was just tracking Bob. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, we we once we start showing them what we're doing, we know who they're going to reach out to to try to get their shit going. So let's start. Rest in peace, Bob Lee. But it is a little strange that yeah, we have yet to hear. Yeah, kids and shit, family. Rest yeah. in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace. I hate it. Yeah. Very I don't like to. Uh, I haven't even read right. the question enough on the internet for me. Who killed Bob Lee? I don't even see people typing that. Yeah, there's not enough of an inquiry being made publicly. Mm. It's just, you're right. It's just quiet. Where would you see that question at? Everywhere. Chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that it does or is. I'm such a dark. No, because I'm just saying, like, Twitter's privately owned now. But we're so that's controlled. <clears throat> we're living everywhere is controlled. You know what I'm All saying? All the places so that we get our you, information you, from. People might be asking that question, but. No, we don't. But we're, we're not gonna let that get out there like that. It's sad because we're living in a world where all this shit is happening right in front of our eyes, and then all we're left is to ask this question, right? Mm -hmm. Back to back since October, so many crypto billionaires have been killed. Mm -hmm. One died in a helicopter crash, the other one died in his sleep. But mostly, and they're looking they've been taking Bob, out Bob Lee. And what we just got to sit here and watch this shit happen, not get any answers. And because you know how life moves so fast, we're going to be on to the next. But we mm -hmm. need people like the Joe Button Podcast, Joe, to stick on it. Who the fuck killed Bob Lee? And we want to know. And why would be nice, too. And why? Well, we're not going to find out why. No. It's probably going to make somebody. Either. It's probably going to be we'll an get ex, a fall person. It's probably going to be an ex-military guy mm. that was mad about some shit they're going to make up. You know, mm -hmm. I see where it's going with their father. Oh, yeah, no, it's going to be a homeless yeah. person yeah. that was struggling yeah. on drugs yeah. or whatever. That's it. Yeah. 
that's what you think is going to be. Yeah. It's going to be. Uh, there's a big that's, homeless population in San Francisco, so that's, that's a fall easy, down. easy fall. Easy fall. Oh, down. yeah. Got it. Got easy it. Easy fall. Got Very it. Good. Fall Damn, guy. CP, yeah. mm-hmm. oh, are, you, are you okay? I'm, I'm great. I'm Damn, fantastic. that German side is kicking in, huh? <laughs> <laughs> In in more law and law and order news, let me just get all of this out of the way. Yeah, uh, let's get it all. Uh, the triple X murderers get life. Life. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm gonna play a little clip here because that judge went off. Did y'all hear the judge go off? I no, didn't. I didn't. Not, I, did, I didn't. I didn't. But I did see their reaction to the verdict. Mm. I didn't seem phased. I mean, they kind of. That was like mandatory. You, once you got convicted, that's you. If you were getting that, sentence. here we go. Give it to him. They kind of knew. Robbery and murder. And on that day, when you stood there and fired that weapon, you didn't just end one life. You effectively ended five lives, including your own. Like I just said, you, could, you need to understand that when we say life in Florida State Prison, that means life. Mm. It is necessarily without parole. Florida abolished parole. Mm. Now, as the song says, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Mm. <laughs> you will spend. He going off. He gave him eagles bars in the sentence. And- yeah, no, he going <laughs> off. The rest of your life in prison. From here, you will go and be placed in a cell that has a stainless steel slab that's attached to the wall. That's your bed. And next to it is a stainless steel sink and a stainless steel toilet. That's the furniture that you have in that cell. You'll spend every hour and every day and every week talking to this man. And every year of your life pacing in that cell. And one day they'll come and open up that cell in the morning and you'll have passed on and only on that day will you have served your sentence. Holy mm. shit. <laughs> Fire. Damn. I was waiting for some music to come in underneath that. You know what I mean? <laughs> the Undertaker you already song. know they're going to put the ether mu- music in the back of that oh, yeah. at some point. Listen, I love when judges, when they're sentencing, they don't just like say what the term is and bang the gavel. Yeah. I love when they are so impassioned by what has just transpired in front of them. They've got to like give a fucking monologue. Yeah, they got to give you some bars. Man. I love that shit. We need more love in the world, yo. If these people loved themselves just a little more, they would have valued themselves a little more, and they wouldn't have just thrown their life away for that 50 grand or that motorcycle or whatever they were trying to do that day. True. Mm -hmm. If you want to rob somebody, hey, get it how you got to get it. I understand desperate times and desperate measures. When you are killing an 18-year-old, no, no. Rest in peace, X, man. And yeah. you said Both that... Both triple X and DMX. And you said that um, you saw what they... Like, they kind of just looked stone-faced. Yeah, the reaction was... They looked just, fucking... Like apathy. Yeah. They like, looked stupid I mean, in the face. Fucking, like I said, they knew. Kids. Making faces, shaking their head. They knew. They looking had at, that talk already. Looking at their mans. Yeah, they didn't Ain't have... Nothing, nothing gonna change. Yo, he can already come in here, sit in y'all to life. They didn't have any emotion. But I think in that... Fl- in Florida, once you're convicted of that charge, it mm. carries a life sentence. And like the judge told them, Ain't no, ain't no parole here. Life means life. Mm. So mm. they, they, a lot of times, they even had that talk. Even after the talk, a lot of times, you know, but the gavel banging basically really makes it hit home. Makes and it then, real. And it makes it real. And then there's some kind of, some kind of emotional response to the fact that your life is pretty much over. Here's my question, though. The law out there in Florida, right? All three of them didn't shoot him, right? But... There was co-conspirators? As long as you're, like, present during the, you know, during a felony or, like, a murder being committed, like, you're committed. You're Got gonna, it. Yeah. Got mm. You're going to go down for the same crime. That's crazy. That's, mm. that sound like Florida. And they just sorry mm. to let anybody walk around with guns. That shit is insane. No permit, no training, nothing. Just go buy a gun. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <sighs> In other Law & Order news, uh, dun, 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 Lance dun. Reddick's cause of death revealed. Rest in peace to Lance peace. Reddick. Mm-hmm. Uh, heart and artery disease. Uh, Coolio's cause of death revealed. Uh, fentanyl and heroin. Rest in peace to Coolio. Uh, rest in peace, Michael K., his dealer. 
was sentenced as well. Mm-hmm. What did he get? I was trying to find the terms. I don't know if they... I didn't see what he yeah. got. Yeah, I didn't see it either. But they got him. Yeah. They got him. And uh, one of Pop Smoke's killers, who was under age at the time of the murder... Sent it to four years in juvie. Sentenced to four, four, a little bit over four years in juvie. He wasn't... Um, Michael K's killer wasn't sentenced yet. He pled guilty. Got it. Uh, That's okay. what it was. That's got why it. y'all couldn't... Yeah, he uh, wasn't okay. sentenced yet. Mm. Four and a half years. I mean, uh, four years and a couple months in juvie for your participation. See the difference in where where the law, yeah, what the laws are, and mm-hmm. where it happens at. Mm-hmm. And the pot smoke one time. That's that one really upsets me. It, that one hits me deeper than I thought it would. His impact. His impact. It's like Biggie Junior for mm-hmm. me. Like he was. He was out of here. He was gone to be young like that. And he just had a grip on the young people, man. Rest in peace to uh, Pop Smoke and everybody that everybody. lost their life in these last, last few years. Um, I was going to ask you guys what you, what you thought about the sentencing, like the, the, the length of sentence. And, you know, this is America where we're all about crime and punishment. And I just wondered if you guys thought that that was enough time and that there's the... There, there's a chance that this young man would be rehabilitated. The four months seems short to me, but I don't know what his four involvement mm-hmm. was. But it seems short to me. Four, four years, years, four years, four years, four years. At that. Yeah, but he was he was a uh, he was seventeen, 17 at the time. Seventeen at the time yeah. it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People charged as an adult, younger. Seem it seems off to me, but and the answer to that question is no, Melissa. I don't I think that's. I don't think so either. I think that be. I think that actually would make you not afraid to do it again. Mm-hmm. It's almost like the slap on the wrist. Oh, I, that's that's all I got. Yeah, oh, I can do that standing up. Yeah, agreed. Oh shit! I did have some more Law and Order shit to get to, but we can get to it later. We get to it later. We get to it later. Come on, turn up then. Turn up. What's up? You making this? What's up? Turn it up then. What's up? What up? I mean, turn it up. What we talking about, man? Whatever, whatever you want. Come on. What's up? What's up? Subs. Are we? Are we going? Why are you so thirsty to get to the subs? They playing with my man and my man to come in and talk about it. What's popping? What we doing? You went straight. What we doing? So y'all, I went the thin line again. Okay. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. We going. I'm changing. Changing the topic. Um. I went to go see the Super Mario Brothers movie. That you did. And it was fucking fire. Like, Dork. to all the, all, yeah, I was going to say, to all the big kids out there who grew up on Super Mario, they did this right. This who's, was for us. Who's in it? I don't know. It was a cartoon. Mario and Luigi. <laughs> nah, I know. Uh, <laughs> Jack, 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 yeah. Jack Black played um, Bowser. The guy that played um, um, Chris Pratt Chris was Pratt, Mario. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some other names in there. John, John Leguizamo was all ain't like none of that shit. All but I, I, heard, okay. I, I heard there was a standard. What John Leguizamo did? He, he was mad that it was not inclusive to uh, Latin people because he was in the original one. Oh, it was. please. And the original one was terrible, oh, by the please. way. please. Y'all got Black Panther. Kick rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, go see it. <clears throat> no, I heard Great there was for nostalgia purposes. I heard there was standing ovations in some theaters and stuff yeah, like that. yeah. But, you know, I guess the critics, I don't know. I was speaking to Ian yesterday, and he said that they wouldn't see it, or his wife wouldn't see it because the critics said it was not good. I'm like, huh? I don't listen to critics. I'm my own No, because Chris Pratt is in it. Yeah, it was a lot of that. I don't know what he did, but people, oh, Chris Pratt is in it? Nah, I can't fuck with that movie. And I'm like, what the hell he What did he do? Why is he canceled? I thought he was squeaky clean, man. Listen, Guardians of the Galaxy come out next month. Go to see it. I already bought my ticket. (laughs) And they had the they had the popcorn joint. White right? people can't afford another gigantic loss like that. They they still mourning over nah, that that's Kevin Spacey. <laughs> they still mourning over that was that, a, that was a nah, talented that was, that, that, was, that was a talented thug. He was a good actor, man. That was they are a Kelly. monster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one hurt like like Kevin. the R hurt. <laughs> Kevin Spacey, yeah, mm. that boy was good. No, he, he was, was. He, he was. was. Yeah. He was a sick. That fuck. shit just that shit just came tumbling down. They thought they, <laughs> had, the, sure they, thought they had their hands full with Charlie Sheen and them. Oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not at all. And I was watching this show. I right, stop. All right, yeah. You're watching what show? Doesn't matter. Hmm? Kevin Spacey, you're sick. <laughs> you are a sick man. All that shit is fucked up. They're taking our childhood. You said it's the weekend, and then that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, it's the weekend. Somebody give me their weekend plan. Oh, you're right through your tongue see, over there. Give me they, some I, fun. Hold on, I saw real quick. They got to stop me. See, because I, I go over the deep edge. 
I'll start opening doors and shit that we can't get out of. Shout out to Joe. Help me. Pull me out the door. I'm going to go down the whole rabbit hole. And Mel was helping me too. What, what movie? What, which one you were watching? <laughs> my weekend is my weekend is coming. What are you doing this weekend, Mel? You going to the pause packing district again? <laughs> the pause packing district, bro. Uh, no, 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 no. Mel um, ain't come to your invitation, your barbecue invitation. She did Facts. it. That's fucked up. And she no lived, one did and, actually. And, and, and she up. lived real close. And you, yeah, yeah but her up. living so close and not coming is a little. That's fucked up. That was fine. You know, we, we, we enjoy. Mel don't really. It's no, do not say Mel don't really fuck she with us. She found them old smooth magazine true. pics, and that was it. <laughs> yeah, that was all she needed. <laughs> When it comes to hookah and, and, and drinks, you there, huh? No, yeah. no. Guys. Talking about live shows all day, huh? Plays and shit. Yeah. Listen, okay, look, they, right, they right, that poet, nigga. right now, <laughs> I am on a diet plan. You guys have seen the shit that I've been I eating. Have, have, yeah, it is not fun. And you were having my favorite food catered. West Indian food, yo, I could not do that to myself. You share. You don't understand. I would have like laid on the table. I want to. Sh- well, easy. You dead ass about this summer easy. body shit, huh? I am. Listen, I am disciplined. But when a bitch wants to be outside naked, hello. Now you did yes. good. I mean, you share food here, so I just wanted to share food with you. I listen. When this diet is over, please have them come back. I got you. I got you. But right now, I am the Pilates queen. I am drinking a gallon of water. I'm urinating every five fucking minutes. And I'm eating a lot of sweet potato. It's not, my life sucks right now. Got it. Okay? That sounds pretty bad. Yeah, that sounds (laughs) fucking terrible. It's tilapia and sweet potato. Uh, It's not fun. Tilapia? Tilapia. You have to eat the garbage. Uh, like, get, a little, get a little better fish than yeah, that, though. Get some cod, at least. It's the white fish, yeah. low fat. That's, I know, yeah. I know. Tilapia. See, look. Tilapia! Bullshit. She gave me tilapia. <laughs> Sorry. Something. Come on, y'all want to talk about the Drake mid? Sure. You didn't like it? I like that shit. I didn't like that shit at all. Man. I like that shit. I was wondering if he was going to come in and tell the truth or we was going to act like it was fire. I like that Why shit. do people say that? Because it's Drake. When do we come in here and pretend something is Not uh, us. I'm just saying in general. The general public, I've seen them looking for one or two lines. There's a lot. When did it come out? Could, officially, it came out uh, midnight. Friday, I will Friday absolutely midnight. say something is mid or trash when it is. Good. Without, fear of, without fear of retribution. A lot of people, lot of people don't. Like If it's their favorite artist or if it's that untouchable yeah. artist, they won't say it. I told my audience that... For the for the for the year, I'm committing. I'm committing to the truth. Mm-hmm. So I'm not gonna come in here and say something is heat if it's mid. Like if I like it, I'm gonna say I like it. And I'm doing this new thing where I'm just gonna I'm just gonna really try to explain why I think some of these albums are getting the treatment that they get mm. from the business side, like from the label. Uh, same uh-huh. same way we spoke about with Black. Like I want to talk to you. Well, after Drake, we can get to Ray Schumer, but. Uh, yeah, I don't, this is like, I don't need any of the Drake from the, the little Yachty throwaway pack. <laughs> Whatever Drake Yachty really wrote, like, I don't need, I'm cool. <laughs> and that's clearly what this sounds like for me. I think Yachty is credited as a producer on it. And Yachty done wrote some slaps over there, I'm sure. And hey, Yachty's album is fire. But the throwaways, like, Search and Rescue. I like that shit a little oh, bit. Oh, I was on my... I was on my toilet. I had the so record appropriate. last week after he, he premiered it on a show, and I was like, "This what I'm saying? People go crazy over this? I didn't hear it yet. You ain't missing nothing. I'll That's the play thing. a little bit for you. You're not missing much. Thank you, Joe. I'll give you a little, a little, a little something. A little snippet. He didn't even need. I don't know what was the point of putting that out. Lucy Drake now, is back. Yeah, I was Lucy Drake to say, is back. Which I'm not I, mad I, at. Yeah, I'm not mad at Lucy Drake because it's usually there's more Lucy's coming. Yeah, they don't all got to be hits, so I'm okay with that. Yo, I also want to tell y'all as I'm giving this review, I was also wrong about everything on. If you're reading this, it's too late. <laughs> I want to preface this with that. I've been mad wrong on Flat Drake singing something catchy that y'all rave to and I'd be like, really? <laughs> but that should be working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if later on this somehow manages to work, I'm going to blame y'all. Because <laughs> this is some bullshit. <laughs> no, rescue <Yeah>. me. <laughs> Facts. Rescue me. Facts. 
This shit is. I'm not turning this on anywhere. Respectfully to Drake, y'all know how I feel about Drake. Yeah, it could just be the same. This ain't the this ain't for us. He didn't make this for us. I like this shit a little bit. I like, like it especially after too. all that dance shit. Made it for you. This shit's all right. It's I, not. I'm not rushing to it. I'm but not it's, gonna hear this, dog. I went to sleep last night at 9 p.m. and when I woke up at 3:30, I didn't have that tingling sensation in my in my soul like I normally do when new Drake is coming out. I'm just. I'm connected to the, the vibrations of the earth. I just knew it was mid. I had that mid feeling. That <laughs> medieval times was coming. <laughs> he wasn't going to lace us, man. That nigga, the record was out. That nigga he played made, it over the, on his little radio show. Made, Niggas so, heard it. And it he was threw like, that out because that nigga made $10 million during yeah. Watch Madness. <laughs> that nigga just made something stupid. Just throw this out to y'all here. He'd be, he be in the house having to remember here. Yo, oh shit. Yo, get up, <laughs> give him something, I guess. Yo. <laughs> Hey, check the fridge, see if there's a little something in there. Just get out to them niggas and see what's happening. I like it a little bit. It's not bad to me. I will never hear that again. I bet you will. <laughs> I guess that's the under 40 response. I'm under 40 and I don't like it. Barely. You're I'm sorry. barely under 40. <laughs> You're the same age. But I'm 35. And you the OG today. Yeah. Okay, so I... It does sound yeah, like a throwaway taking to me. Them, taking them to memory lane on the gram, huh? <laughs> yeah, we saw that. We saw taking it. them down memory it. lane. And was talking shit, too. <laughs> yeah. I, I uh, begged her. Dog. Oh, let me see. Oh, no, nah, memory lane. I thought you were story lanes. <laughs> <laughs> let me, I got to go to mail shit. Wait. It's probably gone. <laughs> story lane. Story lane. It's gone. It's Canadian. <laughs> Look at it. I see what she did. Oh man, yeah. Um, yeah, but thing. but listen, I do hope we get some new uh, new Drake. Some, this like, won't new, be the last. Drake. Yeah, this won't be the last. And I like Lucy Drake. Mm-hmm. Little, little, Especially for little, the summertime. Little, um, scary hours, Drake. Yeah. You know, two pack, three pack. If this shit come on in the spot, I'm gonna be mad. I don't think. I don't if this think you shit will come, be. Yes, the fuck I am. You you skipped a lot of Drake heat for this to come on in the spot. That whole 21 album is hard. Play something from it. <laughs> hey, it's late. It's girls in here. That whole fucking uh, Mykonos album he put out is hard. No, Play it. No, it's not. It's, it's shit. Not it's joints on there. It's not hard. Hey, hard. I stand in that. It's joints on there. I ain't going back it's to joints. one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is ass, bro. Y'all bugging. But anyway. We ain't in Mykonos, nigga. We in, we in New York. <laughs> we in New York. <laughs> that shit is ass. New York, right? <laughs> that shit is. Take that over there. That shit is Y'all ass. taste is weird, though. You took 21 off the good album. And you said Sizzle was mid. Like those two, those are two on your jacket. Like my chance take. Like those two are on your jacket. I know you don't care. You about to get defensive? No, nah, I'm not about to get defensive. I took 21 off. I told you it just didn't match well for me. I sounded better as a solo Drake project. He wasn't on there enough to even feel like a joint album. I'm not That's gonna all. lie. I haven't gone back to the uh, 21 album that much either. Honestly, that's because 38 special drop every week. I mean, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Got to keep up with your backpack of people. That's facts. That's all. Uh, Ice, talk to me about Ray Shrimmer. Yeah, I, I was even, very shocked to I see that Ray Shrimmer Shrimp Life 4 Shrimp for Life I mean Shrimp for Life 4 was I was very shocked to see that album drop in its entirety today Me too I, I got you know I got the little Russian iTunes store and mm-hmm. New Zealand shit so I can get them a little <laughs> early Hey whatever you gotta do what you gotta do Hey no matter shit. And I said wait Ray Shrimmer the album Quiet Quiet drop Quiet Drop. They did two singles. And remember, one was like January or February. And I came in here upset about it. Yeah. Why? Because they don't make music for the winner. Mm. I don't want to race for I didn't even want to hear that. And Mm -hmm. that same single sounds great on the album now. Mm -hmm. It just happened to be 80 degrees almost yesterday. Mm -hmm. I jumped right in the car. Car wash. I need to hear this. How it's supposed to sound while it's warm out. And track one. Yup. This is what I've been missing. That first track is hard. Um, I'll tell you the name. Daddies. Of that. Origami. Daddies. Origami. Hotties. No, I'm sorry, hotties. No, y'all not even sh- uh, fans. <laughs> We're not even baddies. Sh- the first record is hard. Yeah, y'all not sure. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. No, it. no, don't. Yeah, no, you just mute up. <laughs> I like that shit. Fire. Love it. <laughs> Love it. That's some uh, throwback yeah. Ray Schwimmer. That's what I've been. That's the Ray Schwimmer I want to hear. Facts. Me too. Right there. Yeah, I'm going to offer some pushback on that. Rock out. Go ahead. That is not the old Ray Schwimmer. Hell yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Album cut, not single Ray Schwimmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Album oh, cut, Ray This oh, is okay. album cut. Got it, yeah, got, yeah. It, got, it, got it, got it, got it. I don't think it's, um, and that was my thing. But wait a minute now. No, I'm fighting this just Go because ahead. why not? <laughs> Part of what makes Ray Schwimmer Ray Schwimmer is their ability to have a single. Yeah. 
I'm with so you. if we're starting at there is no single, then something's wrong. They made good albums. And I too. also believe that that record I came in here ranting and raving about a few weeks ago was the best single sounding record. But compared to their other big singles, No Type, No Flex, mm-hmm. you know the mm-hmm. ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Fa- pales in comparison. Agreed. I'm with you. I'm with you 100%. So, so when I start, This Is Fire, track one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And every track after, I haven't heard the whole thing yet. I'm only at like track 11. But every track after from them vocally loses some oomph for me. Now oh, I'm the opposite. I, I think that the production is going crazy so far from track one to 11. So every to Mike one. Will. Every one of them. See, but that tells me, you and I were talking, you was like, hey, they're not a priority anymore. Cool. Mm-hmm. So I like to see what, I like to see what artists and groups lose when they're not a priority. Priority at the label? Yeah. I don't gotcha. think they're a label priority. They're clearly not a label priority. Yeah, obviously. That is this album that. sounds like, to me... <clears throat> see, but even that's, even, that, even that's some bullshit. Because, no, I want to know what happened to make Ray Shrimmer not be a label priority. I was going to ask... When Look, we, I mean, we watched it. What happened? The niggas stopped fucking with each other. The music suffered because of that. We saw that. They was going separate ways. Mm-hmm. All right, now they're back. Somebody got them okay. back together. So somebody so, got them back so together. So our stocks should still be there. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that. It's been a while. You got to earn that back. Yeah, if gotta, Big Boy yeah. and 3K take a picture tomorrow, totally the world different. is going to be earth shattering. And Big Boy and 3K got how many classics? I know, but I'm, just, to, I'm only to, speaking about the equity everybody has built. Everybody's equity is different. Ray Schremer, I think, for how they have produced, they made all you niggas freeze in a the club. They, they did. did. They did. And they made all of y'all shit. stupid doofuses freeze like mannequins <laughs> while I was waiting on a hookah from the hostess. <laughs> stupid ass hostess. <laughs> Get my fucking hookah. Yo, you know how mad? You know how mad I was during that era. <laughs> them little, them little dudes are talented dudes. Together, I believe. You know how to shoot a jet. If your J is wet, then when you're 60 years old, your J is gonna be wet. Mm-hmm. And they still have their, their production. Mm-hmm. Mike Will's still here. So the only place that's really lacking here is big single and label support. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's fucked up. I, there's no way in God's green earth I'd have let them put my album out. Hey, for y'all out there, let me show y'all where I went wrong early in my career. Because whenever Def Jam wanted to put my second album out, I said, hell the fuck to the no, you're not putting my second album out. I'm not doing it. And that put me not in alignment with them. I say more artists today, now that y'all have a little more leverage and control, should not be in alignment with these release dates. Yeah, but look how that played out for you. Like, they still... Look at me. No, no, no. (laughs) Look at Rapper Joe. I'm I'm, I'm sticking only to rap. Look at how that played out for you as a Def Jam act. It was a tough road for you for a little while. It was a tough road. That you made it tough. Y'all are right. But I also... Go ahead. I'm gonna finish. I got something to say. Hold it, go ahead. You believed you could do it on your own, even without them. A lot of these niggas is like, yo, I need, I got to play ball by the label. Okay, if y'all not with me here, I'll wing you back over. I'm glad you said that next sentence, because we have two different perceptions of that. It's not that I believed I could do it on my own, and I did. I didn't have a choice but to do it on my own. That was because of a decision you made, though. You put yourself in that boat where you well, had to now do it on your own. I look at it different. I think some new niggas came in the building that didn't fuck with me like the nasty niggas that was here. So we're putting this album out on this date no matter what because no it's a numbers game. We don't really care about the best interests of Joe Button. Mm-hmm. We need a mid-level project to drop on this date so we can meet our quota at the end of the year. And you're coming out and the Young Guns is coming out. And all you niggas that don't have no traction moving right now are coming out. Bleak. It was a whole little slate. Mm. Yeah, nah, I fought that shit. Fuck out of here. But there's always bigger picture in play, and Joe Budden was alone. Ray Schremer, to my production point about them, are not alone. Mm-hmm. Mike Will is still as powerful as he's ever been. He, he just did a whole Miley Cyrus record and the Alicia Keys record. And he can, he, still yeah, he, can, still he can fart a hit. I believe that. I believe they have some shit on this album that by the time the summer get here, because they had shit on, even go back to their first album. Yes, they had the monster singles. They had album cuts that turned into hits after the album came out that because people were playing the album. That's what, there's slow burns on here. That, hey, the label might catch on late. Oh shit, we didn't even know this was What's on. It, what I do you feel th- what, what you're think? saying, 
as far as the album cuts, but the difference is when you have, you kind of need the monster single to get to the album cuts for most people. That's where I think the equity of the artist comes in. Like for someone like myself, I didn't even know this was dropping. Mm. I've been, I came in here months ago. Where is Ray Schwimmer? Where is Ray Schwimmer? I was mm. screaming that. So soon as I see it, I don't care what's on the album. I'm buying it because I've been waiting for them together to drop a project. I'm a fan. I did. I, I rushed to it the same then, way you did. And been listening to it since. It's a good album. It's a good album. I don't care about the marketing production. I mean, the marketing, the the promotion side. I'm with I you care on that. about how this album sounds. I love this album, and I know it's only going to get better as this as the temperature rises. Oh, I'm with you. I'm just we're talking about from a, a, a commercial standpoint, I guess. Yeah, but it's kind of saying the same thing though. As it spreads, it's, it could be a slow burn. Most fans and listeners to music are sheep, though, so that, that won't really work. Oh, that's fire, yo. They fire. They if fire. The, man, they did as they fire as they are, man. unfortunately, I think I have made the tough decision to take them off of my instant purchase list. I instant purchase, and I do it's not a, regret it. It's a tough decision. Oh, oh, no, I'm not basing that off of this album. But something is happening that I don't know about. And until I figure out what it is, I got to take y'all off of, I got to take y'all off of Instagram. But if purchase. the music is still good, why? Oh! There you go. I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> oh. What do you think the outcome of this is going to be? The fact that there Numbers is, or what do you mean? Reception? What? The numbers, the numbers will likely be low. Yeah, the numbers yeah. are going to be low. Because there's no, there's no promotion behind this. Yeah. We didn't, I, I put the shit up on my um, Instagram story. Mm -hmm. I just said, swim for life. That's all I got to say. And people was like, wait, when is it dropping? And I put that up yesterday. Or, well, uh, Thursday night. Mm -hmm. People were like, wait, when you heard the album? Like, it's dropping in a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew. I didn't see anything saying, yo, it's coming out at midnight. Nothing on the gram. I, I just didn't see it. Um, yo, what I'm saying to you is, I want to start, I want to start I want people to start understanding a little more the discretion of certain labels. Okay. If Mike Will is there, who I believe could fart a hit, mm -hmm. and y'all haven't done that to the label satis uh, to the label satisfaction, so now we just putting the album out without much support mm -hmm. and without that radio or playlist standout. It signifies to me that something might be wrong. That's all. I follow that. I follow you, but That's I also, it. I, it's, to me, it signifies we need to get some traction started yeah. somehow, some way. So let's put out a good project that the people that really fuck with us would like and talk about it, like me and Ice are right now. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully they're going to keep the ball rolling yes. and try to get a smash. So you don't I, think, I hope you're right. You don't think nothing is wrong on the business side? Maybe uh, so, maybe so. But at the, in musician world, you got to keep it pushing regardless. But, but like, my, my retort to that, though, is with some of these vibers, we have yet to see if y'all have the audience that can talk you back into a spotlight. Facts, mm -hmm. facts. Because we used to catching a vibe with you. And yeah. if you are not providing said vibe then we just not vibing. And well, we're not, it's, a, it's playlist, playlist yeah, artists. we're not you talking. Know what I'm a lot of artists these days, are uh, their popularity and, and success is a result of fitting in on playlists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. And True. if you don't build a core fan base outside of that playlist, you kind of fuck. This, this is what I've seen when I was younger as far as labels. I don't know if it's still going on today, but if you don't follow what they say, right? Uh -huh. Like Even now, if you don't follow what they say and things doesn't go how they predicted it to go, mm -hmm. the next time, the next go around, they're not behind you. They're going to, yeah. they're going to, something, yeah, something, something yeah. happened. They're going to give you the rope to hang yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to figure, the last album was a triple disc. Yeah. Even was, that was, was crazy. Much, yeah. Like if, if it was they, a group album plus two solo albums. How long ago was it? Three, four years, years ago at least. If they That's wanted, if, if they wanted them to stay together, and you know, sometimes niggas get money, I don't got to, yeah. you, know, you yeah. didn't follow nothing that the label said, the next time you, <laughs> When yeah. shit starts slowing down, niggas start to go revisit the blueprint. So it's like it's, sometimes they don't back you no more. It's, All right, this it's, is the most Ray Shremmer conversation y'all will ever get from anybody. This is 2018 was the last one, five years ago. Mm. Yeah. I have a do I have a I have another question though, real quick. What's up? Yeah. Who can drop a project and it does good without promotion? Only the super yeah, duper the, the, stars. The, the, the top of the list. Beyonce, Drake, J. Okay. Cole. Right, so nobody, Cole, nobody Kendrick. that's not in their stratosphere can drop a project, and it surprisingly does good. Well, it, like depends on, well it depends on your definition of good. Yeah. I, I have Jeezy on that list. 
Jeezy? I, I definitely have Jeezy on that list. Mm-hmm. I don't. It was a few projects where niggas don't have him on that list. Not anymore. He's, he's, he's done it too many times. When he dropped Get Right. <laughs> and it also depends on what your goals are and what kind of lane yeah. you are, are as an artist. Because if you're someone that has a core <coughs> fan base that is going to go to your shit no matter what. I don't I don't think Jeezy has ever sold less than 40,000 first week. What makes You kind of have to credit that. But Joe, these days, Joe, what is good sound scan numbers? Is that still the thing? It's relative to who you are, yeah. where your buzz is, your traction, your support, yep. how you're doing it, and who you're doing it with. Yeah. So 40,000 is good. I never knew 40,000. Somebody, like, that, somebody that could roll out of bed and get 20 points is called a walking bucket. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. Somebody that could roll out of bed and move 40,000 units has has established a cult fan base that no matter what's going on in the vi- environment or the landscape, my people are going to get this out. Mm-hmm. Me and Ice have bet on Jeezy before. I have counted Jeezy out on a bunch of albums, and that number never comes in. Shout out to Jeezy. Less than 40,000 week one. But what I'm never. saying, back in the days, early 2000s. No single. And now shit No is- support. New, now, new producer. Well, it depends on the. It depends now, on it's, the confusion part is that look now shit is digital. It should be more easy to get sales. Back in the days, niggas was coming five three hundred thousand the first. Well, oh, no, because now sales true. are determined by amount you of streams. You need a lot of streams. Fifteen hundred streams or some bullshit. I didn't whatever, know that. Whatever the sliding scale is. This I didn't today. know that. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know that. So you basically you need to sell forty thousand units. You probably actually need to have people listen to it. I don't even know a million times something stupid like really? I, yeah. I saw a report that said oh shit I on spot that. that Spotify has mm, pardon me that has 36 million songs or something like that that don't have one listen damn sheesh I would like to ask not only what y'all think about that but do y'all think that's possible it's crazy it you don't even go possible. listen to your own not shit one listen <laughs> that doesn't sound like, you possible you got no at all. homies with you nobody You're, just go you, you should at least go put it in the shit around and play but, yourself. But then again, nah, <laughs> you might be listening somewhere else. Everybody don't have Spotify, yo. I miss her. But still. Dog. 36 million songs with no with not one listen? One listen is weird. That's Statistically, weird. that doesn't sound... It's strange, and it sounds right. impossible. It yeah. sounds nearly... It's, yeah. It don't even sound possible. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Got, so if that's happening... It must be from someone that has like no social media whatsoever. Ah, it's, it's, mm. it's from somebody that's figured out a way to be paid just by uploading a song. Mm. Maybe, yeah, maybe only, Could be. only, or someone, or there. somebody that middleman it. Like, yo, I can get your music. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. This is like when you used to give the radio radio dudes a bat a brown bag. Oh shit! Allegedly, a brown <laughs> bag on the side for them to work your record, uh-huh. and then they come back with all of these spins they got you in like a T market mm-hmm. or a SZ market, like mm-hmm. towns you never even heard of. They tell me, "Hey, you got four hundred spins over here. How would you know? Right. <laughs> You'll never be there to see. You're not going there to do a show. This is somebody just." Uploading a song, fudging the numbers, but they're not even fudging the numbers, which is the weird part. Yeah, which tests to me that they figured out a way to be paid just by the upload. Well, it's not very expensive to upload, so I don't know if I agree with you on that. So, wait, but whoa, if you whoa, don't, whoa, 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 Three to four shows that are TBD to be determined. We don't have to. We don't have to have a name here, a script here, just a show to come in the future. Somebody could be selling off. Just, Uploads. Yes, selling off yeah, the possible. ability to get you playlisted or to get you. Somebody might have a situation. I, here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of people doing that. That's Hell nasty yeah. shit. Though. It would have to be a lot if I'm subscribing to this for it to be 36 million songs that not one person has heard. That just don't make sense. I know a lot in the music business don't make sense, but that one should have everybody scratching their head saying, mm-hmm. hmm. I think, I, I, think I read somewhere recently that there's like a couple hundred thousand songs uploaded per day. That's what I'm so, mm-hmm. so that's it's not that crazy. That, it's off. not that crazy that there's some that gets zero plays. That does sound crazy. It's still crazy. How did, no, no, Zero's no, 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 no. Nuts. It's the craziest of crazies. I don't want to, I don't want to reduce it. You make music as an independent I contractor. I do. You you have been at a point where you would call a cousin and say, "Hey, check this out." Yeah, and a you, family member. Yeah, a hey, family friend. Right, but your no. son. Mm-hmm. So if you anybody call somebody would say, hear this song. You call somebody and, you and say, "Yo, go check my shit out." It's on DSP. They go listen to it on Apple. 
You don't listen to your That's own record. That's what I'm record. saying. Everybody's not running a Spotify. Mm -hmm. But even when you upload, there's other avenues where I could still stream your project or your song. Not Apple. I mean, not uh, Spotify. That's Dog, all. You the same guy that sat here. And or maybe not here, but you championed when Chris Brown put out the rules on his Instagram for what his fans should do to help get his album get credited the Correct. way it was supposed to. Correct. Because that's what we need more of fans, I mean, artists oh, telling instructing you. their fans of how to really be helpful because right. all of this shit is smoke and mirrors. Correct. So, in that instance, you just named, I if I'm uploading my song to Spotify, because Spotify has other incentives that they offer just for unknown acts to upload. Okay. Uh -huh. See, I didn't know that. And okay. I call my cousin, I'm going to tell him to listen on Spotify. Yeah. yeah. You, <laughs> I you, I didn't, you added that. I didn't know that. Honestly, that stat just makes me kind of sad. Like, there's a lot of, like, sad, lonely musicians that are just sitting at home making some shit and putting it up there. It makes me really sad. But you can listen to your own record. That wouldn't count. <laughs> they, they might got a title, so I don't listen to our own podcast. That wouldn't count if you listen to your own shit? Yeah, it would. But maybe they got title. Oh, dog! Stop! Shut it up! It's no, weird because back it's in, weird. It's it weird. Is weird. Back in the days, you get to have the automatic refresher and keep refreshing. Yeah. And they, get, they stopped all that. Yeah, no, it's a stream farm. You crazy? Okay, I'm just saying. I knew all the tricks back in the days to get the numbers up. <laughs> they, they had a refresher program. You can refresh it or let the shit play and let the shit play. And mm -hmm. niggas don't do that these days, huh? I'm sure, Unless no, Spotify do. have some automatic bot <laughs> resistor. Zero plays, nuts, and that sad. Is. What else we got in music? <laughs> Listen, uh, Daniel Caesar came out. I know that y'all effectively canceled him, or he canceled himself. He did. He did. He, 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 he did, did a real that. good job. Of he did that. Double yeah, and but down on the that, cancel. But slow down. We have to review some of these things. We do. Now. We need to cancel review. Uh, uh, yeah, um, we need to cancel board. review board. Yeah, because my Instagram <laughs> algorithm has shown me uh, Yes Jewels in the past few months, and I see a lot of my black friends still under there liking that white ass. <laughs> oh, my God. It's still a little meat over there, with some bathing suit pics, and some of my black brothers were double tapping that white ass. <laughs> But we'll stream Daniel. So season. if you're going to still like and cape, well, like that white ass, then you can't cancel Daniel Caesar for caping over that white ass. So would you like to play up Daniel Caesar's song? Like no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who Daniel Caesar He's is. He's an R&B singer. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not playing it because I've already heard all of the preview tracks, and mm. Daniel Caesar's fire. Mm. I, I say all know. of this to say, huh? I said, well, if we're going to be the council. Well, I bought it. Uh -oh. But why did he get canceled? Wait, wait, wait. You play. You play. He got canceled because. I know it's some heat on it. Thank you, Paul. There was a couple different things. Uh, he sat with you Yes know, Jules. He, and he that, was that caping was for Yes Jules. He when, jumped out there. When though. she was. But he also went further, like on Twitter or something like that. I forgot what it was. He, he, really, spoke, he spoke disparagingly about black women, basically. Oh, no, but there was also no, some shit. Don't do no, that. Don't, do that. don't rush to do that. I'm there was some other shit. Find what he said then if you There was also some other shit Joe, during like the 2019, 2020 civil uh, uprisings with the police murders and all that shit where I for, he, he more or less told black people to pick their shit up by the bootstraps type, type of vibe. Something along those lines. And who canceled him? Hmm. People that listen to his music. Fans. His last album didn't sell the greatest. Then he went and got low for a little bit, and now he's back. But I mean. All right. Daniel Caesar slammed for saying black people are too sensitive after seemingly defending Yes Jewels. So we're going to get it all in one fell swoop, okay? Grammy that is not winner. speaking disparagingly about okay, black so, women. Okay, so, okay. Uh, I, I think that, no, there, there, was, there was other, there was other, other comments. Get, I'm get getting, them, get to, okay. Get Grammy like winner Daniel Caesar came under fire after suggesting black people are being too sensitive during a lengthy rant on Instagram Live uh, Wednesday. His post outraged thousands of fans with his name garnering more than 64,000 mentions on Twitter by the afternoon, blah, blah, blah. Blah. Uh, That's on his neck. Black women don't forget, boy. Look. No, they do. Black Twitter. Um, so, uh, Biracial woman. And he picked the wrong two to fuck oh. with. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait. Yeah, he did that. I'm the Freudian too. singer's yeah. argument was seemingly in a response to a social media influencer, Yes Jules, a white woman who criticized hip hop media maven Scotty Beam and Karen Civil on the wrong Easily two. Offended podcast earlier this month. Jules has been at the epicenter of racial discrepancies in the past, particularly involving her appropriation of black culture and dismissiveness of black women. That's what it is. Sorry, let me rephrase. In caping for yes, jewels, it basically means that, you know, everybody's perception was basically that, what are you doing? I saw, 
No, okay, well, finish your shit. Okay. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just talking to the camera. Girl. Okay. Uh, by caping for Yes Jules, that was basically co signing everything that she had to say about black women. And so. I blame you cool niggas with a dick. Let's talk about it. You <laughs> fuck these white right. girls, okay. give them, lo you long in them. She they, most they, significantly they, yeah. sparked fires during a 2017 incident in which she tweeted a photo of a t shirt uh, she vibe, wanted yeah. to wear that read, Niggas Lie a Lot. That's Daniel, hate. Daniel, I promise you, I was trying to talk about your album. <laughs> first I of all, promise you, first of all, I was not, trying to get to your all, music. I'm not allowing any cutoffs. We don't want to hear that anymore. Fuck yes, Jews and all that other shit. I don't give a fuck. We talking about the niggas out here that's fucking these white girls, long dicking them, and allowing them to say nigga around you and because they doing all the freaky shit that you want them to do. You sick motherfuckers. I blame all you niggas. All you sellouts. Tell your white girlfriend, your white shorty, she can't say nigga around you. Check them. Tell your white friends they're not cool enough to say nigga around you. Niggas don't give a fuck about that. We can say it. We, we appropriate the word. I don't like that and I stand on it. Ooh, look what we get. They get the tax breaks. <laughs> I'm on the fuck wrong, you talking about? I'm on the wrong side of the fight. It must be a new outfit because there's like fluff. <laughs> fluff what? You got jokes on me? No, I'm not talking. You let your white friend say nigga? I'm not talking to you. I was I'll talking to you. fucking ice. I'll like, no, you. I fucking don't. Oh, there you go. I know, I know big enough. I don't want you to be without <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's get to the music. Oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> no, no, I think you let white people say nigga, man. I, 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 the way absolutely. you speed and pass this. Absolutely do not. Well, all right, check my absolutely hand. not. It's the no, weekend. No, 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 no. Play, play some vibes. Okay, here we let's go. Let's see what we got. This is called Unstoppable. Now, are you playing something that you know is heat, or are you just playing a random song? It's his new music by Daniel Caesar. So it's you have never heard this song? So you don't know if it's heat. You might be playing the worst song on his album. It's quite possibly. It's quite possibly going to be jack shit. Or maybe it's going to be fire. Oh, you're a hater. We I'm don't know. We don't know. It's going to no, be... No, no. I know that you're a hater. I know. I said it could be... Because you, you, re you was reading too fast like to not hate. I like the baseline so far. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, no. This guy's fire, yo. Nah, it's heat. <laughs> it's just out here. Nah, he's out here. He's out here. We back. Let me put my headphones on. Hey. This nigga sound hey. like. Hey. Hey. Hey, it's a vibe. Listen, let me say something. I Don't hate, man. No, I'm not. Don't hate, man. No, wait, 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 wait. I automatically want to like Daniel Caesar. He's Canadian. Hey. We, we cape for each other. You're Canadian? Oh, shit, I love no, you. No, he's, oh. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? We Canadians love each other. We support each other. It's a civil right, rights song. Yeah, Pops. I need to hear this in the Maybach. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Come on, come on. Turn us. this off. Turn this off. Turn it off. Oh, and the drum was about. Oh, okay. wait. <laughs> you see the drum was about to go. Boom. boom. Yeah, of course, go. he's going to be fucking artsy and not bring drumming. <laughs> I hate when niggas get too fucking artsy, yo. That's just, wow. Put the drum in for a couple bars and take it out, man. Sounds different here. Look, Mel wanted to hate so bad. I no. should You should screen the song before you play it. True. I didn't know what was gonna happen. When, you, uh, when Don, uh, who, who, my man, who my man? I be uh, hating on. What's my man? When Brent, Logic. When Brent dropped. Oh. Oh, Logic, <laughs> my biracial brother. My biracial brother. My biracial brother. Did you know Joe? Not bi I'm biracial. <laughs> I'm biracial, girl. No, I'm biracial. It's dead ass. Biracial, <laughs> biracial six. Dude, <laughs> yes. What's happening? Logic is my biracial brother now, gotcha, so gotcha. I will stop so bullying. So we're him. Yeah, when I was coming in here to play all the shit, I was playing the songs that proved my point. I had to screen them shits. Don't play no heat if you, you want to hate on them. I'm not, I'm not hating bit. on See, Daniel look, the support, Caesar. Your support was hate. <laughs> oh, oh. Your support was hate. I was oh. not. Your support was oh. hate. I was segway, not. segway, segway, yo, segway. No. Yo, keep the support, keep that supportive hate away from I'm me, taking yo. the headphones off for this one. Keep the supportive hate, yo. We couldn't wait for it. Wait, we getting into it now? We getting into it. You brought us here. You may as well. Look, look. When he now, start throwing it up, that's this, it. This hurts me. This hurts me. Get this shit off on me. Some news sweat. came to me. I don't know what was said. I'm you know what I mean? I'm coming uh, right back. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Don't go nowhere. Don't oh, leave. Don't come right back, please. Don't leave. I've been waiting. Listen, can, can somebody help? He just needs to fill his cup. Go because ahead. Because this was told to me behind the scenes. Okay. Now, we, we, we should all do that. We should all say what we heard from different sources. Yeah, pre-production, yeah? behind the scenes. What you heard? They said yeah. that a nice guy that's been supporting... Mm. Me on this pod uh -huh. and improper improv, Elliot Wilson. <laughs> oh, shit. Shade. Game of the bullet. Yeah, yeah, I put it on it. And I, I don't know what was said. Can somebody inform me so I can go in properly? Elliot Yo, has it, been... Don't don't dance on that's my I don't man. Dance. That's my man. Why is this that's my, my man? man hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. It's not all our man. I got the bazooka nah, right is. now. Well, that's not, my man. What did Elliot Listen. say at my nah. man? 
He, he said that about your man. What he said? Hurry up. Like I the bazooka, put the bazooka man. down. Man. So what he did was he's been... This is more of a submarine thing, too. You need like a torpedo. A submarine, you need, so listen, you need okay. a torpedo. Let me, let, me, let me talk to you, Flip. I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> so you know the, the list came out. We are so immature. He was at, I think, eight or something. I forget the number. But what he did was he started running off his accolades. Mm-hmm. Just to say like, oh, yeah, did I, did, did my, my young boy interview did, what, two million? He put that up. Yeah. This this interview like he's just running off accolades. I interviewed show, both like, Hove and, and the boy. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Just saying, oh, but you got me here. But let me just remind y'all what I did. That's and he's a legend. And he can do that. But it wasn't hate towards. It wasn't direct no, hate towards. No, it's not directed oh, okay. towards him. Submarine hate. Submarine hate. Submarine. So hate. from under the water. Under the water. Oh, okay, got it. Torpedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's the, hate because I'm only doing this because I don't accept the place. That y'all put me on this list. Yeah, number eight. Okay, was but it's not directed at the people on the list, though. Not directed at number one. It's sub hate. It's sub hate. Can we really? But did Joe, he hate on, on the on improper improv? No, he didn't no. hate on the show. Elliot okay. has supported me okay. mad long, all decade. So I mean, take this with a grain of. With a grain but Joe, of did he say where he feels like he Ma- should have been? Mel, you know, nah, because then he put up the clip of me on the podcast <laughs> last part talking about I'm number one. I put my thumb on Charlamagne's face. Scroll. He put up a clip of me talking greasy <laughs> as he was talking about, you know, his his, his accolades. accolades, and that's what makes it look like a little hate. It's a little blurriness. But Mel, it's, you it's know, support hate. You from the Caribbean, Mel, and they say that. He, you find something that you go look for, right? What's the saying? Like looking for you're it. Gonna, you're gonna find something. Be if careful you're what for you're. It. Be careful what you go looking for because you're gonna find it. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. do you think that Joe, that not you, but the people around you, look for the hate for you? He was talking cat shit on the pod, so I mean, the hate is gonna come in. Anyway. But it's my man. He but, can say but what I'm he he's, he's number one, and well, he knew he was number one for a while. I told you, I called the nigga. He was up there smiling and shit. I want to be clear too. If Elliot or Charlemagne or any of the people envy. Any of these people would have been number one. They, they would have been, been talking, talking shit. cash shit too. Like, unfortunately, there's only one number one, and only that person is going to be talking cash shit. And everybody else has to Correct. respond to it and react to it. I got it. That's it. I got it. But to answer your question, like me personally, I don't go looking for the Joe hate because it's, it's, I don't want to see it. I don't really give a fuck. It's a lot of Joe hate. I catch hate just for being. So does the support be hating? I have to see it because you know how like they say God sees all. <laughs> Yo, here, 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 here. Like, I can't miss it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna talk my shit. I'm gonna talk my shit if I sit over there. And I'm not here to do that. I'm not here to do that. No, I'm not gonna do it. Come on now. It's the weekend. But God sees, it's the weekend. God, Mel, God sees all, even Canadian gods. Damn. God sees all. I think actually when they start hating. Yo, so Elliot was doing his covert hate. El, I know you listening out there. I love you, my man. A little covert hate. Doggy Diamond says some shit. It's my man. Well, Doggy it's my man. Saying, man. What he say? He says, check, check it out. I, check, I, I ain't going to promo the hate. <laughs> I ain't going to promo the hate. Fine. Why? They do it and to you. And that's why people hate. Just so niggas can be like, Why don't well, you support hate back? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, fuck that. My man Tax started hating from jail. Oh, shit. What did Tax say? No, nah, let me read my the tax quote. Oh, my God. And let me read the tax you quote. you find the other one. Where'd it go? Nah, but niggas been getting their hate off. You screenshotted the hate? Oh, I can't. I always keep the foul. <laughs> <laughs> you got a folder in your phone that just says hate? Shout out to Little Lux. We kept the files. That was a bar. Legendary. Oh, my God. Legendary. And, and when it's the hate, they put my name right in the caption of the... Of course. Such and such says this about Joe Button. Light skin Joe Button with the beard. You know. <laughs> Podcaster. Podcast Joe Button. <laughs> Used to rap? Uh, let's see. Text. Complex ass tax. Where are you with Joe Budden? Always a good question to ask. <laughs> what have you thought about his rise and <laughs> leaving? And he said, I think <laughs> finally figured out that Joe was a master manipulator. They were suffering from Stockholm syndrome, and Joe manipulates everybody around him. Even the dudes sitting with him now are being manipulated. <laughs> But you got to understand, some people are all right with manipulation, as long as they get something out of it. So I think them Uh dudes know that. But I think they just cool with the situation. Sometimes people don't got nothing going on in their life. They need to be a part of something. I'm not one of those people. I always tell people, if everybody jump on that ship, it's going to sink. So I'm always the person that's like, I'm going to stay with the land. When y'all get over there, y'all write me and tell me what happened. 
I don't jump on ships. I'm like a home ranger. I'm not the person that's trying to be cool with artists so I can try and get an interview. If I genuinely like you, all right, all right, all right, enough. From Jan, that's what he said. That's what, ta yo, Tax, hold up. That's what he said. I spent way more time on other shit than I did Tax, so time. Tax, Tax, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that's what he said. Before I came on this shit, man, we, I had a lot of shit going on, man. Slow down, number one. Number two, we say free you all the time, so I'm, I'm going to be mindful of what I'm saying, but you you out of line. And you the man, you my, you my man. Before you got locked up, you was in the car with me. That's out of line, homie. Saying that and throwing subs to niggas that's up here that put a lot of work in. Joe is not manipulating nobody up here. Well, not me. And no. niggas act. Oh, let me talk my shit. Don't 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 don't, don't stop me. <laughs> niggas ask me this question oh, all the time. Like, I was just asked this oh. yesterday at <laughs> Chef Simpsons from a friend. Like that's cool with um, the two names he said. Um, how do you feel about Joe? Do you feel like do you trust him? I said yeah, I trust him. Do you trust him personally or in business? And I had to think. I said personally, I trust him, but let me say business. I said, yeah, I trust him in business because he did nothing but right to me. And on top of that, he has to be a fool if he did wrong to anybody else to continue to do wrong. What is he, the R. Kelly of podcast? Huh? <laughs> Stop yeah. playing with my man. They run a tight ship up here and good business. And a lot of times, niggas don't want to <laughs> acknowledge that there's other niggas that's just happy with what we got. Period. And anywhere I go, I'm going to take advantage to the full extent to get where I need to go. This nigga know I got a plan and he's fine with it because that's my man. You niggas can't not judge nothing. The ship's still running. Shout out to G-Money, we here. We still moving. You my man, Tax. Chill out with those type of comments, man. Nah. I, hate, I hate when people say, and Come I just say even on his comments. Get y'all shit just, off while it's your hand. Come on, let's do it. I just see it a lot when people be <laughs> like, me, that's my oh, you know, <laughs> you, you, you ran up, like, up on the jump. Fam, my friend caught me. I was home minding my business. Dog, I need your help. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. I tell the story of how I ended up here. No manipulation in that. It wasn't no manipulation. Actually, it was manipulation because I didn't even know what I was coming to do. Well, that was just tact. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I, that was just But yeah, tact. it was like, yo, dogs, I need, my, my shit is over here kind of fucked up. I need your help. Say no more. We didn't talk about no money. and It ain't about that. When my friends call me and need me, Ain't nothing to talk about. My, my man, my music career is doing very well. Listen to whom <laughs> outside to, the podcast, to career. whom it may concern. Like, 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 to whom <laughs> it may concern out there, because number one can't go back and forth with people. Mm. Like, let's just start there. So I can't do like, and I don't want to give anybody's name any added uh, value and equity. So, to whom it may concern out there, a big part of this thing is being free. A big part of this is staying away from some of those spots where it might get a little thick at. A big part of this is knowing when and when not to be home and away from shit. A big part of this is getting out of your own way because as humans, we come with shortcomings and deficiencies mm -hmm. and you want to hide your weaknesses and expose your strong suits. That's very important in podcasting game. Take that from numero uno, number one. That's not even on page one. In the, see, and that's my problem with niggas that get to talking about podcasting. Y'all don't even be talking about shit that's on page one of the pamphlet or on the back of the book in the paragraph. Y'all not even in the bookstore yet. You can't beat, you can't steal second base and keep your foot on first. You have to get out of your own way. You have to constantly reinvent and you have to be available for the miracle. You have to be available for the miracle or else niggas would just be calling and mailing and you talking from jail. Oh, okay. That was, that was, that's a little, that's a little cold, but. It's not cold. It is. Niggas cold. have called me too many times to use my platform to help with a case, a cause, or something that they're passionate about. And I do that because all I do is constantly show up for people. This is but if these are your thoughts, if we in the if we in the sharing thoughts mode, ain't nobody got to call my phone for me to share a thought. I don't have to do no interview to share a thought. I told y'all I'm standing in truths. That's my sub to whoever it applies to. This nigga brought different people together. He brought. Here's my other sub. Oh, I'm shit. now we just randomly subbing. <laughs> Hey, to whom it may concern, <clears throat> build their company as you build yourself. Mm. Who's that? Mm. No point in talking about all of these amazing 
historic moments that you have if you cannot use them to capitalize for yourself. Do it yourself. I'm not saying nothing I ain't told you to your face because I don't talk behind people's backs. But there's way too much check chasing going on in podcasting land. And then you niggas got the nerve to open your mouth and say something to a nigga like me who do it for the sport and the art of it. Everybody got to relax out here. Very pivotal decisions be made when you get to certain intersections. Some of y'all cho choose to take a check. Y'all got mouths to feed. Y'all have wives and girlfriends and how mortgages. Y'all got shit you have to pay. It get risky when you out here in independent contractor land. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. You contracted workers have to really watch how you speak about the independent contractors that get it how they live it. Nothing wrong with building them. Lord knows I've done it for a bunch of companies. But build yourself at the same time. So when the day comes that y'all butt heads, because that day is inevitable, you'll have something to fall back on. And you won't just be looking to take the next check from somewhere. To whom this may concern, this is not even on page one of the manual, because you niggas ain't in the bookstore. Instead of critiquing people's placement on this list, we need more critiquing on why you're not on it. To everyone not on it, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's some steps that you niggas have missed. <laughs> to whom it may concern, stop holding the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> like if I'm just giving out podcast advice It's certain niggas Y'all can't speak to me Y'all didn't do the work yet You didn't go in the bookstore Hire the editors Get people to help Invest in the staff Pay the staff Get more staff Stop check chasing Stop doing the bare minimum and expecting that to yield results, you niggas are the bare minimum boys. <laughs> you niggas get that bag, put it in your pocket, and do the bare minimum. I don't want to hear none of you niggas talk about nobody in here. Hey, to whom it may concern. Because niggas here get to work. All niggas do is get to the work. Hey, it ain't even nothing to be mad at. We just stating facts right now. She didn't move cross country. Hmm. This nigga ain't slept in months. <laughs> That's I something mean. different. I won't put his business out there. <laughs> in parks, I won't put his business out there either. But My the man. point is, niggas come in here and head down to the finish line. That's it. To work. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else to talk about. To whom it may concern, You're, that show ain't been impactful in years. And that rotating seat garbage ain't getting it done. If you haven't noticed by now, y'all, your company over there has shifted their attention to the advertising dollars that they could get in podcasting. It's not about radio. They breaking all that shit up over there and we getting podcast advertising dollars, which says it don't matter how powerful that one show was at some point. If the company's going in a different direction, niggas gonna look like y'all going in a different direction, which is why this is expendable and you and your co-host don't have to sit there and pretend to like each other for months and months and months. Know when y'all did that? When you was number one. That's when you gotta come to work and pretend. If it's expendable, everybody could be honest. To whom it may concern? Because I don't sub as great as y'all. But your man can't fuck with me on my, on my worst day. Y'all niggas got to stop just putting... I work too hard. I ain't playing with these niggas. <laughs> fuck is wrong with these niggas? <clears throat> Y'all got to let Don't that tell me about all the money that you niggas made. You niggas ain't bought a new shirt in seven years. A new t-shirt <laughs> even. <laughs> Y'all ain't bought a new Hanes pack of white t-shirts. Don't talk about me over here. By, by this point... You should just be getting settled in with managing that first bank account that you have. <laughs> Leave. Hey, to whom it may concern. <laughs> <laughs> to whom it may concern. 
Well, Jose, this ain't might talking be, to nobody. This, I ain't talking to nobody. No, this, no, This might need to be the episode to title. To whom it may concern. I'm just saying. To whom it may concern is the episode title. It, it, it just Y'all let all the other shit go, though, real quick. Like, the fat boys broke up before, too. Like, stop. Y'all niggas is holding on to too much shit trying to bring... New niggas is here. This woman moved halfway across country. All he the brought, way across he, country. No, across every, the country. All, all, across all country. All this all man way. works extremely hard. This man works hard. Everybody up here works hard. This is a, 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 this is a, a tight, ran ship, regardless of what it is. It's not what it was before. No disrespect to my man's basement or wherever it was at. It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> shit ain't spilling. No, this we made is, magic out there. Yeah, we and, sure and, did. And, and, magic and it was magic, and he puts a lot of work in. So what I'm saying is that people break up. Y'all try to always hold the string. It's, like, it's not yo-yo. Cut the fucking string. Let niggas either... Succeed but from there, yeah. hold on. Go ahead, get this shit off, or drown. Hold on, man. Gun if that's too, the man. case, now gun what, what it is that is you people out there. You people don't allow others to grow. You people put the stigmatism on others while they're trying to grow. Let them niggas grow. Let people grow. Confusion is the way of the world, but over here we don't deal in confusion at all. Pre-production, we let everything out. This is what I have a problem with. What you feel? All right, I feel this way. Yo, Mel, how you feel? I don't like this. All right, we good. We know how we move in next episode. We not sitting down. Y'all niggas is trying to fucking live your life within drama. It's a shout out to the list. I'm worrying about how I'm going to get on there next year or the year after. I shout out Star. Nigga, that's my man, the mentor. That's what I care about. And I'm proud of my man. I'm not thinking about none of these niggas. I don't know none of you niggas. I'm a billion views in by myself, a million dollars by myself over fucking setting myself on fire and driving a car and pretending to be an Uber driver, nigga. Niggas ain't fucking with Flip, nigga. I've been doing this and I'm going to still do it. And nothing stops you. Y'all can't convince me to go against my man and try to make it seem like, oh, 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 oh. No, I get paid because my man, let me keep it real. Uh, oh, shit. All right. Well, now let me keep it real. I'm not done. We got it all. We got it all. All right, go ahead. It's here. Go ahead. pissed them off. Dealing with the, the, the government. It's, it's hard, right? When they take a lot of money out your account while you're building something or building a home and you can't provide for your family. So now you look at your account and, all, and your money is gone because you spent recklessly. But what makes a nigga honorable is when a nigga is able to put a, 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 a monthly check in your account to show where money is coming from so you can fix your shit, nigga. I'll never go against this nigga, nigga. You hear me? And he pisses me the fuck off. But what he did is bigger for my family. And you niggas can't tell me nothing because a lot of times when I was doing those skits and cooning and clowning, that's the box you put me in. Mm -hmm. But I'm a nigga that bought the box company that created the box. You niggas ain't fucking with me. Salute. And I fuck with a lot of you niggas in real life. Queens. Had to get your shit off, son. Shit, me tired. my man. <laughs> nah, I'm glad you brought up that basement, though. That, ba that basement is historical, is historical and you have... It must be mentioned when you talk about 616 episodes. Mm -hmm. Even other crib. Yeah. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. But I'm just saying that, like, when you, when you start some business owners out there, entrepreneurs out there, right? When you're looking, when, you, when you're taking two wires together and looking for a spark, mm -hmm. and then you find that spark with the two wires, it's very important to take that money and invest it back into whatever you're trying to do or whatever your long-term goals are. And the truth of the matter in podcasting is, is just, and in businesses out there, it's just not enough people doing that. Mm -mm. It's too many people just looking to take, 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 and pocket, pocket, pocket. Like, that's not how you succeed. So I'm, I'm so proud of the start from the basement to the second basement Mm -hmm. to the third connecting basement. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's knock a wall <laughs> down and yeah. combine basements. Sex. To here, like Shout out to it's, you, it's a testament to how hard everybody in here goes, works, can, uh, thinks about the gig, executes the gig, shows up on time for the gig. Like it's niggas out there that be talking about me. Y'all niggas don't show up on time. Hmm. But, but, like I don't feel like niggas can speak to me if you ain't got like some of the bare basics, bare minimum things together. Like not being tardy. If y'all get the fuck out of here, well, let me man, say this. Like, me. We, we don't do this enough, but let me shout out Parks for niggas, being man. loyal and, and fucking taking the whole train ride to the finish line, man. Shout out to my man Parks, man. Thank you, you. We don't do that. We Thank don't you, do that, bro. So look to you, Parks. I work, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know the wild part? The fans who don't know shit from shit, shit it on him for that. Facts. It's crazy. Hey, to whom it may concern. <laughs> Sit up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo.
<laughs> like, why the fuck is niggas talking about me? It's, some, it's basic things that need to go on before I need to be addressed by any of you niggas. And now, let me play our little jingle. Yeah. <laughs> Did I get better with the subs? You did. Yeah. yeah. JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Real quick, before we leave music, I want to make I want to make a note that uh, reports say Chloe Bailey allegedly sold ten thousand copies. Reportedly sold ten thousand copies week one. Yikes! Damn. That's bad. That's yeah. not good. That's bad. Um, what do you think the problem is? I don't know too many of the Nickelodeon artists that made it. Shit. Huh? <laughs> what? What's that girl name? If uh, you're about to Justin Timberlake me and Britney Spears me, then that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the, them. It's an iCarly girl. Uh, the, uh, Olivia Rodrigo was a Disney girl. She sold a bazillion copies. Yeah. Usually they get a little push. Yeah. What, uh, else, what else you got? Uh, what's the other? Um, I think there's way more of them kids that have put out music and ran away from it instantly than those that stayed and sustained success. I think her problem is. Selena Gomez was a, a Disney girl. Selena right? Gomez. Oh, shit, yes. Right. She was a Disney girl. What do you mean? She sold what? Not talking about selling something. I'm just talking about they're going to take all the popular kids from the those bases and serve them a song and sometimes it works a lot of times it don't at all and I think that there's no different with Chloe Bailey there's but, clearly some some music people around her but she's had it's success. a good album she's yeah. had success in a group with her sister I think the problem so, is so no, that, that show where she was getting fucked in no, I'm talking, no. About, I'm talking about that should have so. added to the, the promotion see but I think that takes away I think, it takes I, think away. I think that's the problem She's trying to get looked at in a different light. As something she's not. Uh, correct. What do you think that is? She try, she's trying to be looked at as somebody that's trying to get fucked. Mm. I'm taking that from flipped as, as a... Is that what you're, that's what you're alluding to? That's kind of what I'm saying. Um, the it's music, the music, the, album. On, the music that her and her sister made together mm -hmm. was very clean. And wholesome. Yeah. Wholesome. Mm -hmm. And that worked. They were uh -huh. the little Beyonce's, mm -hmm. you know, that type of shit. They right. Very, image. Mm-hmm. And it seems like Chloe's trying to branch out on her own. She wants to distance herself from that image and as she's much putting, as possible. And she's putting out a hypersexualized kind of. Not even just take it off the album. Mm -hmm. The picture she's yeah, the brand. Yeah. The whole brand. Her whole brand is trying to show I am yeah. sexy. Mm -hmm. And that whole it's been a lot of critique about that, where it's, it, it's coming off as forced. Huh. It looks People forced. People are not buying it. it. So, you know, I was in the nail salon one time, like in LA. Um, and she was sitting across from me. And, um. Oh. What? I forgot who he was. Oh, no, it was, it was, in, it was in LA. <laughs> what? I forgot. You got, oh, my God. We no. just forgot who you were. No, like, don't take No, 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 we, we didn't forget shit. I know, I know who that is. No, it was just, it was fucking, I won't even say the name because she probably goes there a lot and I don't want to put that on Front Street. But it's a nail salon that a lot of the girls go to. It's real chill, real relaxed, not pretentious and stuff like that. And when I saw her in person, um, she reminded me a lot of myself, like younger me, you know, physically, you know, she's very, very slim up top. She is bodacious down below. And what she's, what she's. Did you just say bodacious? She did. She got a bodacious. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> She said it, that was bodacious of her to say, to say bodacious. Is it a bad word? No, 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 no. You, you got it. You are just what? Mel. Can you go ahead, Mel? Go ahead. <laughs> you're just Canadian. She always want to find out what we mean and shit. That was like a '90s slang. Yeah, bodacious or a cowabunga. <laughs> can y'all leave, can, can leave my co-host alone so she can finish her story? My bad, my bad Flip. Sorry. And Sorry. I just, I, <laughs> I just remember struggling at that time of my life with who I felt like I was and who the world is telling me that I was. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And she's just, she's so young and she's so beautiful and she's so easy on the eyes and she's so desirable that it's, I get why 
she puts out conflicting kind of energy. You know what I mean? And why people are like, oh, she's trying to do something and it's too forced. That's your opinion of what it is. She's still young and she's still kind of examining who she mm-hmm. is. You know what I she's mean? She's still finding her identity? I think so. And I think that this is actually an authentic part of it. You know what I mean? I believe that. Yeah. I'm just saying the critique mm-hmm. way, the way what? people... Wait, wait, wait. You can, t- wait, you can, you can wait. take the steps to discover yourself and let try me, to find out who me, you are along the process. Let me be a fucking ignoramus for the bit. Wait, <laughs> what the fuck did she just say? <laughs> you don't think that's possible? Say it again. Say it again, because I... What is this crock of shit? <laughs> what part of it is a crock of shit? Her and, her, the her and Gunner experiment was genuine to her experiment and her no, process. I'm, no, I'm no. not. I'm, I'm, ta- I'm not even talking about him. I'm talking okay, about... Okay, but I have four more of instances like those. That's but, label shit. I'm not talking about that. But but that's important when you're talking about discovering discovery of yourself. Because what y'all talking about is my same, not to beat a dead horse... My logic issue. There are a lot of artists out here who just not only aren't comfortable with who they are, don't, either don't know who they are or are portraying something that they aren't. So, yeah, this is true to her experience. I'm with you there on mm. all that woman power shit. But when you have people around you that are throw, taking you off course and derailing that, and, and we know that mm-hmm. because she don't look comfortable doing it. Right. She looks extremely uncomfortable. She's on this album. Anytime she say "fucking me hard" or something like that, she isos it out. The beat drops. Uh, it don't sound. It sounds like there's too much of a concentrated effort by somebody on that team. To to present, because she's not. To she's, she's not yeah. growing. She's not growing into the part. You know how some people. Yeah, she grow, is. Cause she look great. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm talking about like publicly. Like you know, how some you see the transition of people mm. grow, like. She's doing just, it too fast. Exactly. We're in the Let microwave off, instant gratification era. And listen, she's not exempt. Usher had to do this. Mm-hmm. Justin Bieber had to do this. Justin Timberlake had True. to do this. All of the kids Bow had wow. to, Bow Wow. All of the child stars uh-huh. had to do this. So, I mean, it's no different. She's just trying to do it. She's just trying to expedite it. It's happening fast. And so they go through a certain amount of growing pains with this sort of thing. And they have to do that in front of in front of a massive audience, in front of the world. Mm-hmm. And the world is judging their every move. Half the world is saying, yeah, sex it up. I love it. You know, keep it keep it going. The other half of the world is wow. saying, you know, fucking cover yourself up and put it on your church clothes and don't you remember, I, I like I when wanna, you were wholesome I don't, and stuff I don't like see, that. I don't really see that. I don't see people telling her to dress it up, cover yourself up. I don't I see, see that. I, that's but funny I, because I see that all the time. What I usually see is that's people true. saying that this just don't look like you. Not saying mm-hmm. you got to do that. It just seemed like you don't really want to do this. But though. who is she? She might not even know, who, uh, but like in, 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 in its entirety, who she is I'm because she is you. in the process of self-discovery. Of so she's trying shit on, seeing what fits, what doesn't she discards, what she likes, she keeps. Mm-hmm. And but, she's she has to do this in front of the world. Yo, wait, you know? stop right there because mm. you keep saying that. I don't think mm-hmm. she has to do that in front of the world. Why? Because why does she have to do anything in front of anybody? You said try on if I like this, that's, I that's, keep it. If I don't, I don't. That's this I new age that for me. social toxicity shit that's happening mm-hmm. where kids feel like they do have to do everything. Cry because they, they want a piece. They want a piece of the crowd. View babies. But, but, view babies. The view yeah. babies. Yes, yeah. 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 my line. But think about. But think about it. But think about it. But, 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 but think about what do they have as what do they have as an example of anything. Other than that, we have the example. We know what it was like to have landlines where you and, and fucking physical, you know, uh, and shit. rotary phones and answering machines where you had to wait for a motherfucker to call you, you and be home. You had anticipation. You, you know Melissa, what I mean? Let me That's get the, some. Let me get some so, of my bitterness out. Okay, go ahead. In, in our day, artists had to put an album out every year or bi yearly. Mm-hmm. You had to. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. It was five, six album uh, deals being done, and you had to do that. Mm-hmm. Today, that ain't a mandate. No, it's not. There are plenty of artists out there that are making their music, hitting upload, and then going to chill or do what the fuck they want to do. There are a lot of other artists that are being forced into situations that they're not so comfortable with. Mm-hmm. Like, we, we had this talk when it came to Summer, summer Walker touring. Mm-hmm. And she was uncomfortable. She was standing in one spot. She was on the couch. She was on the internet saying shit. It was like, yo, dog, there are artists out there that are just forced to be in a position where they're not being themselves. But you don't have to do that. They said Scissors New York shows were times 
80 or 100 the last time she was in New York. And in my head, I'm thinking, well, yeah, that album was over five years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You had time to let your audience grow, build. You was behind the scenes. You got your body done. You, you, was, you did everything. So, yeah, you expect to see the turnout mm -hmm. when you pop back up five years later. Mm -hmm. It's only these view babies that feel like they have to shove every aspect of everything down our fucking throats. Pause. I didn't true. need to see her and Gunna at no fucking Laker game. I didn't need to see her and Gunna here. That was a whole five, six, seven month long run of trying to beat something into the fan base's head. P public perception. But don't you think that that goes to your point of what the pressure, what like the outside pressure, like label pressure or whatever, like her team's pressure makes her feel like she has to do? I don't think that's a team Dog, thing. if you're going through all that, and I'm, and we could stop talking about mm. her because maybe it's Dragon, but there's not one song on her album about that. I because you're getting mm -hmm. none of these songs. I like them because music people pick are picking good songs from good people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But none of those songs are true to you. You went somewhere, heard a reference, mm -hmm. purchased it, and now that song what, is on what your album. What artist actually their first time out puts out the puts out the their authentic feelings many on of them, that's many usually of them. usually the best album. Many of them, many no, no, I'm not saying they're I'm not saying they're best. Like, but I'm just saying that's no. your most but true like, to self. I know. Yeah, Joe says for a long time you've been you, what you say? You had your whole, your whole life, life to make your debut. Let me let me give it let, let's let me give an old example pink she came out as a fucking r&b songstress and that was the most ill-fitting suit everybody could see it it just did not work and then she comes out with her you know her pink shit you know mm -hmm. like the 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 rocker chick shit uh -huh. and that was authentic to pink and she was through the stratosphere and stayed there it happens that way sometimes too but more often than not the first album usually the artist. the artist and the usually the eight the the label and you know whoever your team are they create this idea of who they want the public to believe you to be and you go along with it when you're super super young because it's, you don't know any better. And then the longer that it starts to feel out of sync with who you really actually are, then you start to buck against the system and you start to say, look, this music isn't even fucking me. I want to do this. I want to say this. I want to, you know, communicate this through my lyrics. And that's when we get the authentic shit from the artist. Now, let me ask you a question. Again, this is not her first dabble into music. I know. So it could be, well, wait. It's just, right. I'm talking, But you're talking about her identity wrapped up in that of her sisters. I'm just guys. saying, real okay. quick, it could be she's been making all that clean music and saying, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. So go get me these records. I want to, this is who I want to be. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be that no more. Mm -hmm. It could be her involvement in this or her directing this. Mm -hmm. Saying, yo, I'm tired of them looking at me like this. I'm grown and I want to be taken seriously <laughs> and I want to be looked at this way. Public and it's just not clicking though. And also, watch, also mm -hmm. watching your peers. Yeah. Watching mm -hmm. the people yeah. that, that, that they compare yeah. you to or watching yes. your peers come up and how they're viewed and you may think you're better. It's, it's a lot of self-doubt. Yeah. Comparison, well. self-comparison, yeah. mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So, yeah. But, uh, last but, thoughts? I mean, uh, like, they compare to, her. to oh, Beyonce all the time. Damn. No, that's it. That's it. Yeah, all right, everybody <laughs> mute up. Yo. Enough of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all will not close some shit. Damn it. Damn, man. Sorry. Her selling 10,000 copies, though, is like Spotify uploading 36 million songs. Yeah, and nobody it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make yeah. sense. I don't expect that. All right, so I what's will, up? Um, speaking of Chloe, when I went to see Super Mario Brothers, they finally showed the, the trailer for The Little Mermaid starring mm -hmm. her sister. Holly. Before they always just show, yeah, mm -hmm. um, Holly. Before they always just show like a screenshot. You mm -hmm. never saw a full movie trailer. They mm -hmm. just would tease you the entire time. It's mm -hmm. like for the last two years or so, they've just been teasing it. That movie is going to do some amazing shit when it drops. Mm -hmm. That shit looks... I don't doubt that for a second. That movie looks crazy. Yeah. I don't doubt that. That movie looks crazy. I wanna I'm not going to see it. The but black it, movie goers' dollars is going to show up for her. The they, they are. are. Mm -hmm. They are. I want to see. That shit looks crazy. I want to see them dancing. I'll <laughs> 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 nah, nah, nah. just be saying shit. What we call that again? Oh. You, well, Feet. You don't think that's going to happen? I think that Doodle Mermaid has been <laughs> no, a movie. <laughs> you really got the soundtrack down fat. They all day in the sun. Wish I could be part of your world. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go home. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just gonna do numbers, though, Ice. No, nah, it is. It is. And and I agree. I agree with Mel. 
Black, do- <laughs> Black Dollar's going to show up for it. Just mainly because of the controversy. Yes. About her being, a, her being the you know a black, a Ariel. young black woman, playing Ariel, and white people were really really butthurt about it. Yeah, they were they were tight. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Well, another thing that I'm tight about. Pause. Um, <clears throat> Fox Fallon, transgender MMA fighter, fractured her opponent's skull. Now America. Uh, That's a risk you taking in MMA fighting. Excuse me. That's a risk you taking in MMA fighting. First and foremost, I feel like they need to, the, the trans community, no disrespect, needs to have their own league, uh, needs to have their own um, organization where they could fight each other. At the end of the day, I don't know how it goes, the logistics of it, but you still have a strength of your past. Mm. I can say that, right? You, you fractured the poor woman's skull. Fox, Fallon Fox. Can, can, can I um, get the get the, uh, the wire, please? I'm going to play something real quick. Listen to this bullshit. <laughs> Listen to this. This is grade A bullshit at its finest. Pardon me. Let me hear it. Give me a second. We good? We are. Okay. We are. All right. How you feeling right now? I'm feeling excellent. That was sweet, huh? Did you like that? Yeah! And I want to tell everyone else, I'm coming in this, in this tournament. Every woman in this tournament better look out. I'm freaking coming. Really? Nice. Every woman in this tournament better look out. This is what you guys promoting? So we're going to have somebody with different strengths just beating on women? I don't give a fuck if it's MMA or not. I don't stand with it. Yeah, this is like, um, there, was a, there was a swimmer a couple years ago who he, the swimmer was in male um, competition and was like in this ranked 60th or 60, like nowhere near the top at all. Mm. And then became a female competitor and broke all the women records. Interesting. Man, how do you feel about this? I know that you don't, you don't like to, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. How do you feel about this? I see your face. Don't, no, no. A trans woman Beat the dog shit out of her opponent, fracturing her skull within 39 seconds. What is your take, Melissa? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy is great. <clears throat> um, fractured skull, Mel. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I don't. Really, oh, she don't want to pack this one, fellas. Give us a second. She got it. <laughs> it's, I, yeah, no, I, I don't really. You pass, huh? You pass on this one. I fucking pass. I mean, look, what I hate to fuck? say, we told. Here's the problem. Back in 2011, 2012, we told y'all this was going to start happening, and we were called every phobic in the book. That's just the truth. Every time a a, a male said, "Hey, man, you sure y'all want to just let people?" just change and then compete now over here with the strength of over there, that ain't that don't look like it that's going right. to work out it right. It don't seem right. Oh, you're just being transphobic. That person is allowed, allow them to express themselves and compete where that's who they are now. Cool. Y'all opened this door. So now, honestly, and I know it sounds fucked up, but every time I see a transgender athlete oh, go shit. over there and start smoking shit, Good for y'all. Hey. It's good for y'all. You guys need to be strength phobic. Okay? It's that shit ain't right. Poor woman. Shout out to her. Shout I'm not saying it's right that she got a, her, her skull fracture no. at all. I'm not saying that. But, I mean, it's MMA. Okay. I'm, I'm not saying that. It's a chance you take. There, horrific injuries do them. happen in MMA. Yes, okay. horrific injuries happen in MMA. So, I'm not trying to say, oh, it's good. that's what you get. No. But, y'all opened the door for this type of thing to happen. And it's going to continue to happen. Okay. And you're not any type of phobic for pointing this out. You on the hill by yourself, but no, I'm on, I'm, on, <laughs> I'm on it with you, buddy. Call it what you want, man. Okay, man. One of you niggas. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> nigga, come I, I caught myself. We done. We done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We out of here. <laughs> nigga, hold, on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Bef- sit. <laughs> wait, wait. Yes, America. So listen, you need to have your own <laughs> your own Olympics for the trans community. You need to have your own TBA 
anything. We support, support, but this is not okay. You all right, Joe? I, I just wanted to wait till you sit down. <laughs> He's so stupid. He's <laughs> to get that last part nah, out. Nah, yeah, lucky. I was looking for this clip uh, <laughs> of this uh, natural born woman <laughs> letting the community have it. <laughs> she was Did you find what? It? I was looking for that. Lucky I couldn't find it. I was coming to add to the sauce, nigga. I wasn't running. Did you find it? No. no. Yeah, of course you did it. Yeah. Conveniently. You found anything else yeah. in that phone. Everything else you found. To whom it may concern, <laughs> you need to have. <laughs> yeah, it does seem like the fair solution, though. Thank you, Papa. A third Pops. league. And, well, let me say this about yeah, you. Flip got to stop taking my ideas and bringing them to the air like his own. You get me? That's twice. That's right. What two. you talking about? That's right, two. View babies? View babies. That's and now. Wait, two. you ain't great. Nigga, I I'm created view sick. babies. Parks. Look. Let me say this about Parks. If Look. Parks, people, America, we have Parks here. Yo. If he is watching, against it. Not in America. Because Parks is. Say it again. There's people watching on America. Okay. okay, sorry. Global audience. Mm. Global, Global audience. Pardon Number me. One. Number one. Number one. Parks is a man that, you know, pre-production, he always said, I don't think we should do that. I don't think we should say. He's very, he walks a very tight rope. Now, if he's... he's it's diplomacy. The, very good, man. Thank you for... Oh, okay. Ooh. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he says it, if he says that, <laughs> the community need to have their own... Division, <laughs> shit, you know you fucked up. <laughs> if Park say it. I'll say this. There we go. What was the opponent's name, the, the woman who got her head fractured? Th does it matter? Okay, okay, fine. If I'm her and I'm seeing that my opponent is trans, it's a man who's identifying as a woman now, I'm not getting in the ring. I'll take it a step further. I'm not getting in the ring. I'm, I'm, my I'm, daughter mm. is on the other side. Yeah. Never mind. Go ahead. I thought y'all finished this one. Yeah, we did. We thought you was trying. We thought you were still trying to find the clip that you. Uh, no, I'm. I'm, oh, I'm you lost it. On. Right, let's I'm move on. on. I'm moving okay. on. From, if I find it, I will play it, though. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This nigga. Yeah, he he don't ill, yo. How you gonna? This is what taxing them talk about. Talk about. You just threw niggas to the clip. I'm manipulating you. You're getting sleepy. <laughs> to whom it may concern. Show up Tuesday and Friday for the next four years just on your own. To whom it may concern. Ooh, help me grow my business. To whom it may concern again. Do things that you wouldn't normally do without this. Hey, Joe. Ooh. I want to say uh, thank you for helping me grow my business. Oh. oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's go. Let's go back to that old yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah, fuck that. Come on. Word. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, hexing you guys. Stop. Manipulation. <laughs> Yo, the success hex. <laughs> the, the success <laughs> hex. Oh. <laughs> the success hex. Manipulation. <laughs> will arise. Will arise. <laughs> with the guys. Oh, you gotta, gotta, gotta be smart about it. You gotta be smart. You gotta be smart about it. It's crazy. Oh, man. Yo, and hey, listen, manipulation gets a bad undertone out there. Manipulation sometimes is a graduation of sorts. By the time you're in the supermarket and you fucking it hits you, I think that nigga got over on me. Doritos are already in the cart, buddy. Wow. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> but, hey, yeah, buddy. They but, got me. Hey, at that point, learn something so you don't get in that situation again, and then that's the end. Everybody manipulates, though. Word. Right? Mm -hmm. You manipulated your boss to tell him that you were sick, that you wasn't coming to work, huh? Lied, right? We all manipulate. Ish. Nah, no, sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> that's my man, he not here. A lot of people manipulate. Life is ran on manipulation. Mm -hmm. Period. Regardless of how you dice it or spin it. Of course, Mel, you know, she's going to try to find a different undertone. Go ahead, Mel, get your shit off. I'm fucking not. What I'm shooting, I'm shooting at you today because Ish not here to hold you down. <laughs> he can't wait for a day that Ish ain't here. You notice that? Yeah, I love, I love her. He yeah. jumped right on Mel. I love this Ish ain't here. Mm -hmm. Easy. I don't jump on mm -hmm. Mel, please. I put the poor woman in the headlock. I was thinking, I said, I put Mel in the headlock. <laughs> you, did, you did that. Yo, can we delete that picture? No. No, absolutely. No, we delete that line. <laughs> <laughs> the, bar, the picture. Oh, shit. What are we talking about just now? Mel has, a, Mel has something for us. Oh, okay. So, what and these motherfuckers do. <laughs> You guys don't like the way I curse? No. 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 It's no. Bad. Fuckers. It's really bad. Fucker. It's really the R bad. is so strong. You better off not cursing. 
Just, just like, say the letters. Just say, say fudge. Wait, better question. Do you like how you curse? <laughs> you say mf -er. I, No, that's going to be better. I don't so. hear what you guys uh, hear. Say fucker, man. Yeah, nobody out there likes the way you curse. Yeah. Say fucker. I think they find it cute and endearing. No, they don't, man. No, they don't. That's pretty privileged. <laughs> and they don't. I think your Muttley's <laughs> laugh is way better than the your curse. Muttley's. The Muttley's <laughs> laugh. Oh, my God, yo. Look, they, 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 it's happening. <laughs> you pulled the cord on the, on the lawnmower. <laughs> Way, and then she does it on mic. Move the mic. Move the mic. You okay, Bree? Yeah, that laugh is ass. <laughs> Yo, we gotta get you a better laugh. Yo. What the fuck? Oh my god. god. Oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> Oh my lord! Okay, man, we the next time. The time. Ma my... Mel Hive, we know y'all out there, but come on, Mel it's... Hive, y'all agree with us? It's my laugh. No, we gonna get you a better one. But what? laugh I... off mic though. I... Yeah, La like you know, how, you know, how, like you like hold the laugh in, like just do that. Your laugh shouldn't laugh like that though. Why? Cause you look good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is an ugly person. Right? Right, I ain't gonna hold you. Cause you look good. You laugh like a you laugh like a six hundred pound. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, she laughed like Muttley. stepping on a cat, <laughs> like a male cat. Like, she laughed like feral that. Feral cats. Not too much on Mel. Too Fuck. much on that laugh. Come on, Mel, give, give it to us, man. God damn. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, you sound like when you do the dizzy dance with like a dog by the tail or something. Like when you spin around with a dog. You wait, wait, who do wait, that? Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> wait, write that. You can't say that. Write that down. Peter will be on her ass. <laughs> <laughs> There's Joe and dogs again. Oh, oh shit! My God. <laughs> oh. Uh, it, anyways, anyways, uh, I thought that this was interesting. So, uh, Miss Angela White, formerly known as Black China, um, it's the Black at, China cast. Ev uh, what? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, back yeah, at it. Yeah. Every, every week we get a Black China update. Yeah. I'm, I'm not mad. Yeah. I mean, give it to us. Don't, yeah, come on. Every, every, come on. Everybody likes the process of evolution that she's going Absolutely. through. You know, I love it. She's oh, removed fillers. Yeah. Publicist's and, dream. Well, oh well, then you might agree with uh, what you know. You might agree with the, with the statements that Miss um, Rocky Thunder. Oh no, nothing, I, nothing that that was said by her. Do I agree? Oh, with her, okay. Well, no. she went online and was basically saying that uh, because uh, Angela uh, said that she'd had like a, she gotten an honorary degree um, in theology, and um, Rocky basically hinted that she probably just paid for it and that it was fake, and so everybody started coming for her in the comments. And your name kind of got brought up in the comments. Uh, oh, you left that part out of pre-pro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but okay, surprise. Your name That's got, what happened, number one. Surprise. Your name got brought so up in the comments. So who make us? Oh, all right, let's hear it. <laughs> no, your name got brought up in the comments because people were not here for what she had to say about Angela. And they basically just said that Joe should handle you, handle her the way that you had handled her in the past. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't look know what I mean. Don't look at me. Don't look this way. I don't know. Don't look at me. <laughs> that girl is a, a liar and a con and a scam artist. And uh, be warned, she is armed and dangerous if you approach her. She is armed and dangerous with just lies and deception. Stay far, far away. Got it. Okay. Well... Um, um, my question is. And wait, hold up oh. now. If they're giving out honorary degrees, if that's really like a thing, then I got a list of schools that need to be calling in on my phone or somebody, St. Peter's. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. Well, like, most honorary degrees, ain't that. So, Ooh, celebrities yeah, that are is, usually yeah. selected to be awarded an honorary degree for outstanding contribution to society yeah, like or, or in their respective <laughs> fields over the course of their career. And some people who have been given honorary degrees are Oprah Winfrey, Kanye West, Meryl Streep, John Legend, Aretha Franklin, Kerry Washington, Ed, Ed Sheeran, J.K. Rowling, Denzel Washington, right, we, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody. <laughs> them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. Yeah. So... That was um, in Black China, Jersey City Angela. State University. I need, I need somebody need to, somebody need, I need an honorary degree from somewhere. Which one your degree? Rock, is? Rutgers. My, my, my thing is William if I Patterson. Bought the degrees. So a lot of people's point was like, don't we essentially all, all buy degrees. Yeah. our That's degrees? That's kind of what I'm. Yeah, word. Yeah. <laughs> And everybody was just But like, I'll pay for my degree and not complain about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, show me where the line is. I'll go, I'll go. I know niggas that used to pay the teacher and ain't even go to class. Just, yo, take this bread. This is more than you're going to make. And you just give me my grades and then I, I graduate. Just like when the mayor of Jersey City at the time, uh, Glenn Cunningham, may rest in peace, just giving me the key to the city. I was like, oh, this lit. What this do? Like, Nothing. <laughs> 
I don't do shit, nigga. It's just <laughs> hey, you come back and just It's symbolic. Yeah, it's just something. What's up, you all right? I'm good, my bad. There's only one Newark boy here today. I can handle it. We can it. handle one Newark no, no, boy, no, I, pause. I, I, I'm good. Yeah, what, what, what are you without your little light-skinned big brother? <laughs> I'm ice. Yeah. I'm still me. Yeah. Big freeze. Yeah. Big freeze. Employee oh. of the month. Yeah, you know I mean? Employee that, of the month. That support was hate. Woo! That support was hate. It was not. That support was hate. <laughs> That support was hate. Hey. 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 Yo, hey. for the rest of the year, I'm calling it out, yo. <laughs> she ain't like that shit. Don't no. give me that. Don't give me that support hate. Listen, don't give it to me. I totally think you that were employee hate. of the. No, he was totally employee of the month. Absolutely. I thought without a doubt. I didn't think there was a close second either. There was no close second. Well, thank you. I'll, I'll give you close second. No, I don't want to be employee of the month at all. Yeah, you do. That's no, hate. I don't. That's I feel hate. like you were that's hate. And that's hate. That's, no, that's, 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 that's that cap hate. No, I, I don't. Yo, you might as well be Captain Hate. Where your I, shield at? I'm <laughs> even, I don't. I, I mean, you know, we 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 working. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want I want that. You want to take a second and talk to them niggas that were sending shots at you about your show? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, they were no, 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 shooting no, no, at you? No. Every week. Now that you tasted a little success, pause, you come in here and act scared to talk talk to the people. Who know how? This is a few niggas now that ran you off your block since <laughs> sent you out the park Are with you your crazy? ball. Yo, go get your basketball and get your fat ass the fuck nah, out the nah, park. Nah, nah, what happened right? was, I guess. Um, Yo, it's, it's our court now. We don't care if you had next. There's a few niggas. Nah, nah, you, you And know I don't what? like that. You're not even getting your basketball. Just leave. Just our ball. Yeah, now. actually, yeah. We're going we gonna to play with this one. You did, they did that to me? Really? Yeah, a few times. Okay, cool. I mean, there's no beef, though. Shout out to Respect. them. Respect. I did that. You know, the number ones. Salute. Flip, I got a question for you. I rock And maybe Ice, if, if y'all can have help, please answer. I have a question for you. If me and you are at odds in real life. You and I. Yeah. And it's like beef, it's threats, like it's up. It's on site type of we are at odds. Like it's up for you when I see you, same with you. Tell me how you and I end up on an Insta Live together. That's the only thing that's confusing me about the new age methods of war. How do I end up on an Insta Live with someone I've deemed to be an op having a conversation? And if I wanted to have a conversation, why would I do that on a public forum that way? Like, how okay, do you get it? Now, now I, is somebody managing the Insta Live or is it just you and the person? I don't even think that matter. Me either. I don't think it does matter. Because if, 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 it's, if it's you and I, that means we probably nine times out of ten, we had a conversation prior to that. We had a private conversation prior to that that we're going to go on live and show the people that we're able to have this conversation and we hashed it out. If it's somebody that's managing it, that means that I just sent a request to go at you and shit like that. So it's different things with being on Insta Live with a person you beefing with. Have you ever done that? I have. Why? What were you looking to gain? Um, it's too, well, like I said, I had a conversation prior. Mm. The world don't know. The, the audience don't know that we go live together. And we, we hashed it out in front of the live, but we already have an understanding. And then there was another time when somebody's hosting live, I went up there to talk my shit. And it's you, up and it's stuck. I'm violating you when I see you. And you didn't hash it out. No, I didn't. But sometimes it get hashed out. When a person be like, hold on, hold on, let me, let me say something. Let me say something. Uh -huh. Let me explain. That right there is a key, or that right there is a little window that they're giving you to have the conversation. Yo, I just want to tell you this. But you or let me, hold on, hold on. Or let me say this to you. So if I'm telling, I was arguing with somebody recently. He was like, Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. But let me say this first. I was like, man, I, 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 we was both talking crazy. But as soon as he said, yo, let me say this, and you listen, I'm giving him room to understand where his mind was at when this happened. Mm. And he's putting his ego away to explain himself. When someone wants to explain themselves for what you're accusing them of, that means that this open for to rectify the situation. Pause. Okay. My question is, <clears throat> why does that need to happen in front of a live audience? Because a lot of times the fallout happened in front of a live audience. Yeah, I don't do that much. Yeah. See, that's, that's, where that's, that's where it loses. Man. That's where it loses. How? So what? That so the what? fallout happens in front of the live See, audience. See, that's what I... Yeah, I want the negativity to live No, no, no. That's I what don't. it is. We can still come out and say, hey, yo, if me and you had issues, right? Mm -hmm. Like beef, I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't have to get on a live with you. I can say, nah, me and Flip, yo, we, we done already talked that out, and that's it. I don't have to do that with you. Just, But that's the same thing for Jeezy and, uh, and Gucci. It was more impactful to see them together than to just yeah. them come out and say, yo, we squashed it. But they didn't do a live. They got money together. Yeah. You see, but it was more impactful seeing them together. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but, and there was a bag attached to that. Yes, a big so, bag. 
Now, if y'all are telling me there's a bag attached to these Insta lives, then I'm shut up. There is, but I'm sure probably not. there is a it's bag attached to it. I'm not talking about all that nickel and dime shit. Them paying for the story or the reels or a badge. I'm talking about a bag, bag. Like somebody's a, paying you to go live with this person. We're gonna give you a, a couple of thousands, fifty thousand, forty thousand, depending on. You know what they can make off of it. It happened. Before. Hey, bags are yeah. uh, uh, relative. Yeah, that's yeah. true. How about this? I'm out of my black ass business. No, I mean, what, what, what did you see? <laughs> huh? Why did you ask that question? Because it's an ongoing trend. Who that's was why. the latest? I see it all the time. It, all the, the time. Stop it. I see it say all it? the time. No, I don't. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. I see it all the time. Like I, I, but, I, I but, see. No, but hold on. That doesn't. I want to know. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You can't. That doesn't. Mm -mm, that's not suffice. That doesn't. That was a different situation. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying, I see this shit happen. I don't I've believe seen, there's any young, situation I've, I've to seen. where I should be on Insta Live yeah. talking to someone that I think is up with. I don't see that, no situation. I don't see what good could come if from a nigga if playing you have, with you. to me. If a nigga playing with your name publicly and violating you, who you are as a man, and trying to test your manhood. There's nothing wrong that came up and let him know that when I see you or... It came up. You There's a me. lot wrong with no, that. No, it's not. But that's a, you lost so, me because you ain't... Do, but hold on, hold on. You had... You, I'm you, just saying you lost You me. was in an incident... Hold on, hold on. Somebody was canned up, and I talked about this the other day, with academics. You asked Act to cam him down so you can go up there. Do you remember we discussed that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you did it too, but in a different way. You just chose not to go up there with them to have a back and forth. You was in the comments responding to this individual while he was live with Act. These things happen on the internet. Do as you must. Thank you. I will. I'm so So you used an example curious. of mine but said I did it in a different way, which you argues did. my point that I would never do that. I would we, never do that. You would never go live so with a person. That, when it's, when it's some, some, if it's some real smoke, that wasn't even real smoke. So that's why I don't like the example. But when it's, okay, real, it. when it's real smoke, cam up just ain't one of the things that... And like, I'm not like, trying to be like, Mr. Positive. I'm not saying don't beef, but if you beefing, why are we... But my thing is this, Flip. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. you, you, I'm using your example that you were in, where you you cammed up and you got on there, you got your shit off, and you told her, I'm gonna violate you when I see you X Y and Z, uh -huh. right? Something going to happen to that person tomorrow. Who they gonna look at? That's how I look at it. Like, why am I even putting my putting that that, that out there? Because A lot of niggas that's real shoot the one on one. I'm no, oh, let's keep it real. We can argue on live, but we are gonna meet up and get and get the one off. A lot of real grown men do that. I agree with you. I'm AD and China Mac did that. Shot the one on one. People do that. Yes, I, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm saying well, why am I threatening you <laughs> on a live, leaving a recorded video of when I see you, this is going to happen to you. So if something happens to you, I get looked at. But niggas get punched in the face. When I see you, I'm a punch in your face. It happens. You're missing. Not everything have to like, leave the... Hold on. Not, I'm sorry. I, you brought it up. Not everything have to leave the violence of, of gun violence. We can fight. I didn't say nothing about gun violence. That's I the mean, only way I can see things going or somebody getting hurt or, or, or stabbed or, or shot or killed. If you shoot the one-on-one, -on -one, it happens. This is like we live in a reality of people fighting, of getting... You know, we have a lot of testosterone. That's how I feel. So I, I I'm going to punch you in your face when I see you. And when I see you, not time to time, I may punch you in your face mm. unless you work out. I'm going to leave. All right. I'm so that's leave. like y'all 24-7. Like, if y'all about to fight, this is like when Floyd and them used to, it's like the build up to the fight. It's the face off. It's the face off. What the fuck is he talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you being funny, but it's true, Joe. Ah. I'm not creating content with the nigga I'm about to fight with. <laughs> hey, cam up. So you just going to allow a nigga to say all this disparate. Cam up. Take you're this. You're going to allow a nigga to say all this disparate yes. things I'm not about up. you. On the internet, in front of an audience, questioning your manhood and not saying nothing or do nothing or not respond. If you are asking me. If it's me, up like that, I'm not responding to you on the internet. Because you don't care about the backlash. Some people do. That's all I'm saying. If, well, if I'm, it's only really talking, up, I'm only speaking from my perspective. I, yeah, I speak I'm from not my, telling nobody what I, to I do. I ain't no street nigga or that shit. But if, yeah. I, if it's up, up with somebody and it's like, if I really got an issue with you and I'm like, yo, whenever I do see this nigga flip, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to pop off on him. I'm, the last thing I'm going to do is tell you. Seen a lot of niggas talk about getting punched in the face, and they got punched in the face. I seen That's Fifty all. say it a couple of times, and yeah, I have seen it happen. Mm -hmm. We can't pick and choose who get punched in the face or who's eligible to say, "I'm gonna violate you and violate," and then not get ridiculed. As men, as human beings, we we get upset, we get angry, mm -hmm. and we, and it's okay to say, "When I see you, I'm gonna punch you in your mouth." Mm -hmm. On a live, it's okay to say that, right. and it's okay to see them and punch them in the mouth. I'm not. I, I'm with you with the second part. Okay. I respect you. what you say. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I agree with what you're saying. Congratulations. Or I'm sorry that happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> or agree to disagree. All right, my brother. <laughs> One of those boys should cover the tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in there, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> we good, we yeah. good. We good. LSU, Mel? Uh, okay. Um, LSU, uh, they've accepted the, um, the invitation to the White House. That's it. That's the recap. Your little friend showed up. Now the recap is fast. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get to well, it. What do you know? You see that, right? It's called out now. The recaps get fast. <laughs> Got somewhere to go? No, no. It's just uh, Angel Reese. She, I, the sh I, would she tweet that she's gonna look, look, look. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I read that the White House uh, rescinded their invitation to Iowa. Yeah, which led the LSU players Sick. to be okay with going to the White House. Mm -hmm. Would y'all go? Still? Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably go. I'm mm -hmm. Pull up. Say what's up. If Pause. I was going to go originally, then, I, then yeah, I would. Yeah. Depends on who's in office. The White, White House need to be updated. What you mean? That shit looking mad Abe Lincoln ish. <laughs> that shit ain't looking like a vibe when you walk in. Like, they, rescind, they rescinded the interview after. What's, what's, Invitation. What's the, Barack had it looking like a vibe when he told D-Nice come up there. They, they rescinded the invitation after. What's the young lady from Iowa? Caitlin Clark. Who said. Nah. Yeah. She was like, we're yeah, sweet. Like we they, should be, yeah, they should be on. We shouldn't be invited, invited up there anyway. So, yeah. yeah, naturally, you're going to rescind the uh, invitation yeah. at that point. What are we doing? You still played in our faces by saying you wanted to invite her, invite them in the first place. Man, fuck out of here, right? But if that, I, I agree with you. If I'm I was going in the first place, I, I'll go like Yeah, that. but now I, I was going, and now I'm glad y'all showed me what y'all really thought. I don't need to go here. So, Angel, so I, Angel, I Angel Reese basically said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to be a team player because she is not the only person on the team. Mm -hmm. She's the one that everybody's paying most attention to. But there's other teammates who probably wanna really wanted to go. And oh, she well, was just like, Fuck it. we should all go. Since the, uh, the invitation to Iowa has been rescinded, fine, we'll go. I'm not mad at it. That's a class act. Yeah. I'm, I'm, going, for, I'm going for gay. Yeah. Well, yeah, fuck them, though. <laughs> They better not serve them some bullshit while they're there. That's all I'm saying. No hamburgers, no Big Macs, no See, Whoppers. Y'all saying that, but... If Any fried chicken, we violating y'all niggas. None of that. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. Keep it a buck. Call if, catch. If, 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 the, if the the visit is on a Sunday and they roll out the Chick-fil-A anyway, who gonna be mad? Uh, I would. You be mad at Chick-fil-A on it's Sunday? It's the White House. I don't give a fuck. I can get Chick Fil A anything. Can't get on a Sunday nowhere. I need you guys to hire a good chef to cater to them girls and let the chef cook in the White House kitchen. We know you got the state of the art shit. You press the button, the doors turn. We need all that. <laughs> Fuck y'all talking about. Good pod today, gentlemen. Hey, this lady. Is, this shit sounds ill with hey, that phone. Good pod. Good job done. Shout out to those of y'all going away for the weekend. Shout out to those of y'all arguing with your significant other. You hold it down. <laughs> yes. Ben, don't break. Slam a few doors in the house. <laughs> Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. Oh. What y'all doing this weekend? Shit. Got my baby. Going to see the family. Same. Oh yeah, you leaving? Family time. Family time. Mel. It's Easter weekend. Well, you know, but you oh. know the kids are off too. The kids are off for yeah, spring break. Spring break. Yeah. Shit. I might Not go to Flo I might go to Florida. Oh, Michael Paul's birthday is this weekend. It's Monday, I think. I should know. He was my fake name when the cops pulled me over. <laughs> April tenth, officer. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, early bro. birthday to Michael Paul. MP. Happy birthday, And bro. rest in peace to my Aunt Carrie Ann, man. Rest in peace. And lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab a Tylenol. You might need it. Shout out to our guy, Ish. Gone but not forgotten. Here with us in spirit. We miss you. Ish, Ish. Big Ish. No, 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 no,
JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? New Joe Biden.